Hello, hello and welcome. It's lovely to have your company. Um, you're joining us, I hope, for the full four hours. We do have an hour in between, uh, but for full <laughs> four hours of takeover on Craft Extra. This is your first takeover on it Craft is. Extra, isn't it, our journey? I was thinking, I don't know if I feel sorry for people or not, four hours of us doing Four together. hours. <laughs> oh, it's lovely though. Yeah. And I like these shows because it means we can get stuck in, we can chill out, we can explain things properly. I say this, she's brought loads of stuff because <laughs> we've got a huge counter for this uh, for these two hours at block and then in the hours um, are in between the whole counter is going to get changed isn't it it is so yeah. I said we've got <laughs> loads of time to but actually we've got loads of stuff to show you um, your stuff is beautiful and it's it what I love about um, my job you always seem to find out something new about people every time you <laughs> you you know you do shows no, with them. Worry. what have you found out about no, me only like about your fine art <laughs> oh, okay. about your fine art yeah. because um because obviously i know you're incredibly skilled uh, craft wise but the fine art i mean you are such an accomplished artist as well Thank you <laughs> and do you find do you find the transition into craft easier does it because I know you were chatting about that because obviously there's very different techniques yeah. or ways of application in crafting. Well, I suppose because when I trained at college and uni, it's yeah. more the fine art. Yeah. Um, but behind the scenes, I would always be a crafter. Uh -huh. So when I started to specialise, that's when I started bringing in mixed media because I was going to craft shows and things like that and buying yeah. things like embossing powders and all sorts of things that people in the fine art world hadn't seen. Yeah. So I started using craft items, but in paintings and combining two. So that's where the mixed media kind of started. Oh. Um, so it is different but it is also the same because yes. you, you can combine it you can do whatever you want yeah. can't you yeah. really it's like there's no rules can. there's no rules of course you can and that's a beautiful thing about it you know yeah. there's so many ways that everything crosses and merges yeah. which keeps it interesting forever um now um a little bit about our mixed media shows every tuesday we do have a moment with mixed media and then every other thursday we have our master class where we take <laughs> over uh, craft extra so it's every other thursday however on the website when you shop by brand we've got a specific page for a moment with mixed media um, so you literally go on the website shop by brand and it's there it's the ah uh, moment with mixed media and <laughs> um, don't forget the ah uh, that is really <laughs> essential um, because that will get you on the brand page and there's always something new and different on that brand page so please look there we are right I like that we're right at the beginning of course of course <laughs> <laughs> ba, ba, ba. Uh, but always keep your eye on that page because there's always um, some good stuff to be added and that, of course stuff's added all the time to that the other thing to point out we want your photographs oh I had the um, the golden fluid paints the other day oh nice. man gosh they're like the best thing since sliced bread um, <laughs> not eating that at the minute <laughs> yet but I love them anyway um, the other thing to point out is what were I going to say Oh, we want your photographs because um, we've got on our Facebook page, we have got a gallery, a little photo section that's all your pictures that you've sent in for your mixed media. So send them in. If you send your photos in, we'll get them sent over to our clear and they will get uploaded on our Facebook page as well. Now, that's all the bits I needed to tell you about. So now we can get to the good stuff and that's the crafting. <laughs> so first of all, we've got some beautiful stencils. Now, these are interesting because obviously you can use them independently. Yeah. But these are going to layer, aren't they? They are indeed, yeah. So stencils are relatively new to me. Nice. Um, um, it's not something I, that I've often used. I kind of use them in the background. Yeah. So as I kind of feel that I need stencils, I'm kind of designing them as yes. I go. Yes, yes. Um, so we will start building up uh, a full range. But yeah, it's, it's things to start layering your backgrounds. Yeah. Whenever I work in mixed media or painting, it's always about layers yes. for me. Yeah. Um, so yeah, these are just to peek into the background yeah. sort of thing. But and I love them because they're really, um, the the easy to use designs that's the word yeah. i'm trying to find because yeah. of course you know they're not specific so it means you can use one any of your projects and really affordable as well you're getting all four however when you look at it you've got your two patterns on one so essentially you're getting your eight patterns but it is the way that will sit beautifully on top so it gives you a really nice uh, perspective to that one five five four one eight nine you're going to be using them in the, the hour aren't I am, you yeah and i was going to say you can see but the way that they're designed you can yeah. just keep repeat like you would repeat yes. stamp 
you can repeat stencil so yeah. you can cover a whole background if you want to and they're really useful in journaling yeah. as well yeah definitely. that's why i've got the two sizes yeah i like that yeah because yeah with some for your bigger projects some for your little and yeah dead easy to repeat that pattern yeah. isn't it yeah um they're lovely five five four one eight nine now next these are lovely so we've got our substrate so we can start decorating on and they smell divine as ever because <laughs> they're because um they're obviously cut out your mdf really really handy because you're your gorgeous little easels um you've got your easel you've got your panel there as well um oh in fact i'm showing you the decorated one aren't i they're down at the front there so i will show you the blank uh, but what i love about these because it's that gorgeous smooth surface to work on you can do all sorts with it can't yeah. you yeah yeah so i very often use a collage technique which is what i'm going to be showing today but yeah you could go straight onto the mdf just whack a bit of gesso on there yeah. if you're using wet mediums um but yeah and then the other little one that you can see i've got decorated the one with the magpie that's literally yeah. just covered in in a paper that's beautiful and they come flat packed and you don't need to put glue in them for them to stand together so i always think this is quite a nice alternative to greetings yes. cards yeah so you can still flat pack them um you know depending on if you if you're putting lots of stuff on your easel as decoration then not necessarily but you can yes. flat pack them so you can still send them into post to someone like a greetings card they can Perfect. pop it up and then they've got a piece that they can keep forever yeah i love that because that it, it is more of a gift isn't it yeah rather than just a card it's yeah. something it's something yeah. tangible um really really nice and there's loads you can do with these obviously you can put your your decoration on but you can imagine them with like um a calendar on you know yeah. you can imagine them with loads of really um really good phrases and sentiments and of course you can decorate both sides it's mdf yeah. so it means it's going to be solid the other side so it means they can change it depending on the mood that they're yeah, in yeah you can have two pieces on one or going yeah. back to the idea of like an alternative greetings card you can write your message yes. on the back almost like a postcard yeah so someone's got that little message you know that you've signed off but you've got your little work of art on the I front that. So, yeah yeah really really nice and only 9.99 obviously club members even better for you because that price drops to eight pounds and 99 pence one nine three eight no it isn't one nine three <laughs> five eight four is your item number now next talking still about your substrates and these are lush because they're a bit different you've got you've got your your frame but then you've got your your back piece which is solid and then to put them together it's a really good idea because you've just got your little stand at the bottom and i really like that because it makes it dead easy yeah affordable yeah. but because you've got that depth it makes it really interesting to see doesn't yeah. it yeah so you've got you basically well i call them floating frames yeah um, you've got that gap between so it allows you so on this sample that you can see i've put flowers on the inside as well just to show yes. the depth of it really so you can really build it up also if you're into your messy mixed media yes. and you want to be adding three dimensional things it allows you to do that and it could almost pop out of the frame ah yes yes yes. so you can you know yeah. you can use it as one or or treat your frame slightly differently to what you're doing on the backing that is the insert so ah. you get that as well oh because they come in an a4 sheet so yeah. you get that to pop out oh, there's I a like square that. one as well but uh that's gone missing somewhere uh -huh. so all i've done with that is um just pop a hole in the top that's brilliant and use it like a hanger i love that you're getting that so it's not just frames it's the the bits yeah, that come yeah, out the bit as that well pops out, so it's just got a couple of little tabs in it i think you just pop it out so yeah you Perfect. can use those bits as well i, yeah. I really like that because it almost feels like an, an extra doesn't it love this look at all the elements especially uh, the tentacle coming in <laughs> from the edge and i love it because they do actually look quite terrified don't they <laughs> It's like it's the aliens have landed and they're in this, <laughs> the form of an octopus. <laughs> Love it. See, I was going with under the sea and you know, yeah. kind of pirate yeah. treasure, but you know, yeah. you went somewhere different. I absolutely went somewhere different. <laughs> if I were an octopus, I would also be getting people back. If, yeah, I know I've got a weird imagination. <laughs> don't even ask. Um, now I don't then, think I will. <laughs> no, I tell you. I tell you, if I ever get, if I come back as an animal, uh oh, uh oh, as long as I've, anyway. 
Shut up, be honest. <laughs> Not going to happen. <laughs> um, now, if you want to go for these, so you're getting both your frames, the oval top and the square, and they're a good size as well. Plus, you get the bits that have cut out. Okay, so it's not just what you're seeing on the pictures, it's the bits that have cut out as well. So you've got the square and you've got that beautiful arch one. Um, and of course, you've got the little elements that will hold the whole frame together for $13.49. Love them. Remember, we don't limit it to one per person. So if you do want to multiply that, you can do really good price. 150476, your item number. Now, next, and this is a lovely kit because you've got all sorts going on here. Uh, first of all, obviously, we've got our um, blank again so you've got your MDF yeah uh, re it feels lovely quality it's a nice yeah, MDF yeah it's a good quality so it's not this it's not the same as you would go into your DIY shop and yeah. buy it's 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 the proper Medi MDF which we laser cut yes um so yeah. Martin does that in-house so that's Mr B uh, originals cuts all of that amazing <laughs> it might not have a stamp but he's definitely got some no, jobs he hasn't got a stamp. yeah we'll mention <laughs> that later <laughs> <laughs> it's not bitter uh, yeah it. not bitter but I know and uh, not not bitter, but he might have mentioned it. Um, <laughs> so you've got your you've got your rectangle, your circle, and the square there. You've then got the big frame in yes. this. Yes. So um, although the A4 piece is rounded corners, yeah. I've kind of put this one in as a separate piece because you could even just decorate it as a frame yes. and put a print behind it. Yeah. So we tend to try and scale things so that they will fit an A4 piece of paper. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, I like that because it gives you options. Yeah. Because you don't necessarily, you don't need a hard back on it, do you? No. You know, it no. almost feels uh, like you, you're not using your MDF to the full potential, yeah. doesn't it, if you use them yeah. together? And then these we've kept plain yeah. um, with the idea that you can just punch holes if you want to and use them as hangers, just yes. put a bit of string or ribbon or whatever. Yeah. Um, so that's the idea behind that yeah yeah and then um do you get all of this as well within this kit? yeah so it's you've a big got old kit. yeah you've got four large sheets of tissue paper yeah um you've got your collage prints as well so these are printed from my hand-drawn kind of doodles beautiful <laughs> and we've got a whole print pack full of these as well on the show amazing um and then you've got three a4 sheets of 300 gsm super smooth card for Gorgeous. stamping onto as oh, well i love your doodles they're just beautiful aren't they so you'll see when i do the demo how i kind of layer these up you could yeah. just use it as a whole sheet and then work over the top yeah um or you can collage them together if you're working on a larger piece um and then we'll use the tissue paper as i said we'll see in the demo to go over the top gorgeous um, to give to it all that a bit texture. texture yeah they're yeah. really pretty um and obviously you've got so much on those they're a proper full sheet yeah. aren't they yeah um and then of course you've got your beautiful cardstock it's lovely and super smooth is that um let me show you some of the so goodies that is a pink frog um card amazing so it is perfect for stamping it will yeah. take your medium as it, it's a good card yeah yeah we like a cheeky bit of pink frog um okay see some of the gorgeous things you can do now are these using this these, yeah, are stamps? these are using the stamps yeah i'll but, show um, you in the stamp <laughs> because although although this is on one of those yeah, obvious same kind on of the substrates yeah. oh yeah. i just got to say oh that's great i amused myself with that no one else found it funny <laughs> I just called I think to say hello. I think it's great. <laughs> oh, God. And you do want to do the coin, don't you? <laughs> He's great. He is coming up, by the way. He's absolutely fabulous, <laughs> isn't he? I'll show you these because these are on boards. So I'll show you in a minute when we're looking at stamps. But that is on one of these fantastic MDF uh, panels. Now, if you'd like that collection, everything is so affordable. It's only £13.49. pence. That's 869 415 your item number right now we've got some <laughs> gorgeous stamps that do we've you know, got do you know what i've just realized what? we didn't think it through when we put the picture up there because we're both did. shorter than that did you oh right, yeah i, was... <laughs> I thought i've no idea you're gonna see us but it'll be fine <laughs> be fine be right uh, at the minute we're safe it's when we disappear behind that <laughs> um now the stamps these are lovely so there are and i'll just show you the actual stamps so you can see what they look like because they're a clear stamp they're the same size as a package you know are they pretty much yeah there might be like a couple of millimeters yeah. in it but I, I try and get it as close as possible um i just wanted to show you stamps so you can see that they're a clear stamp so you can see the quality but the detail so these are all your hand-drawn stamps aren't they? yeah and we were saying earlier i do it the old-fashioned way is i call the range pen to 
paper. So any of my stamps, if you see pen to paper, that's exactly what it is. Yeah. Um, old fashioned way of drawing. It takes a little bit longer when yeah. I change my mind and I want to yeah. alter something. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then the only kind of digital process is obviously it has to be scanned into yes. a computer um, and just cleaned up a little bit, not a lot. Yeah. Um, and yeah. then yeah yeah they that's get made a by a, a small family company as well oh that's lovely and also we package in house which is why we use the paper envelopes they're trying not to use yes. plastic where possible so, yeah, yeah that's you, lovely you get it in your paper envelope yeah. yeah and they are just i mean the detail you've got a lot of stamps here you've got obviously the incredible tony Al. he's beautiful she I, she oh, she's of course tessie. of course it's <laughs> tessa um yeah she's stunning and I love the little crescent. It's like the crescent moon on her yeah. on her little head, isn't yeah. it? And I, obviously, because you've got all the other stamps, you can really build up your scene, can't you? Yeah. And also, with all the detail in the character stamps, yeah. There's a couple reasons for. Obviously, it's my kind of design style, but I'm not a colorist. Yeah. Um. So there's a lot of detail in the stamps. You can colour quite quickly. However, if you wanted to go in and pick out all the little details, yeah. you could be, you know, people like to sit and do their yes. mindful colouring. There's loads in there that you can kind of colour in. Oh. However, I do it quite quickly. Uh, 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 yeah. <laughs> just like, you get I the colour I got her just to wash. <laughs> I love that she's got a pair of glasses. Yeah. That's well cool. <laughs> Have you seen the glasses on the stamp set? See on the stamp. I'm like, I love it. I love it when you've seen the actual finished samples and you go, Oh yeah, I didn't see that. So on the actual stamp set, you've got the beautiful crescent moon. You've got the stars. You've got all the gorgeous leaves as well. What are these little? What? Oh, that's shooting so, star, is it? Well, yeah. The so they, they can dangle from the moon. Oh, fab. Um, and also you can see underneath her, you've got almost. They almost look like little necklaces, but yes, they can yes. dangle from the moon. But also it's actually fallen off of this sample because it's been all around for the place. your glasses but i stamped it onto acetate and put it on for of for course, glasses of yeah. course of course and then above the stump is like a um twig crown ah, so you can color that in and then I that can go see. on i'm not sure if i've got a sample yeah, we with have, it on i remember seeing the twig crown um how fabulous oh i did see it definitely oh. yep i didn't make it up i've definitely there it is <laughs> there, there it is, is yeah. there it is yeah. that's the twig crown Beautiful. Oh, that's well cool. <laughs> oh, that's, that's beautiful. Beautiful. What? And I love seeing them when they're stamped because then they really come to life. Now, £14.39, that's all you're paying. This is a big set of stamps. Then there's a lot of individual stamps there. 150361. Now, the next one that we're going to see, and this I know has been so, so popular for our journey in the past, and this is the beautiful hair. Um, and again, absolutely stunning. Look how many stamps you've got. So you've got the, the gorgeous Hawking. I like that name. It's lovely as <laughs> Hawking the hair. Um, and I love you've got all your flowers. You've got your toadstool. You've got the wings. Yes. Now that's interesting. So yes. what were you thinking with the wings? So the idea is Hawking is a magical hair. So right. in, in my magical hidden garden, anything can happen. Um, but yeah, the wings, um, I have stamped them. Again, The it's come off of the sample because it's been like around the country when we've done shows and things. But I had stamped the um, wings onto acetate and they went onto that blue sample that's next to her. So it ah, just makes it a little bit more magical. So yeah, we amazing. know that, yeah. You, so won't, you won't see a hair with wings in the wild yeah. because they're very elusive. Uh, yeah, you yeah. Know, you they they, they live often. with the fairies, I think. They do. Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> that's beautiful. I love that she's got a little pocket watch, obviously. And I, the because you've got the pocket watch, I'm presuming the little chains down the side, yeah. are there for your little pocket yeah, watch? Yeah, you've got your little hands as well. So if oh, you want yeah, to set it to a particular hands. time, Amazing. And inside the pocket watch, you've got your dandelion clock. Of course. So you can see where my mind was going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good idea. Oh, I love that. And then you've got the daisies, but I haven't put stems on them because obviously yeah. that takes up more space in the stamp set. Of course. So all you need to do is just draw a couple lines with yeah. a black fine liner yeah. to get the stem on there. Perfect. That just means I can get more into yeah. the stamp set for you. Yeah, I think that absolutely makes sense. I'm going to show you finished samples because, again, these are absolutely beautiful. Um, just look at her. I can see why these have been so, so busy. <laughs> And uh, the the artwork, I love that with the daisy yeah, on her daisy little on leg. head. Yeah, that is utterly <laughs> adorable. There she's got. Oh, look at these samples. Look at her. 
Oh, they're so exquisite, <laughs> aren't they? Utterly beautiful. So again, that one, let me just double check. Yeah, so that one I've stamped onto a patterned paper. Ah, okay. So had one of the um, pattern papers from a print pack. Yeah. Tiny little bit of white gesso just to knock it back a little bit and then stamped on so didn't actually have to do any colouring. Beautiful. You can just put a little bit of shade if you want. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so yeah, if, if you're not into colouring, you can get that. And with that little added detail in, you know, yeah. Because yeah. who doesn't like a flowery hair? Uh, absolutely. You know? I love a little flowery hair. <laughs> and I love it because you can build up scenes differently every time, like with the gorgeous yeah. toadstools with all the different florals. Um, yeah, absolutely beautiful. We love her. Again, only 1439. That's 747096, your item number. If you want to go for our lovely Hawking the Hair. Um, beautiful <laughs> name as well. Um, now, next, sorry, I'm just moving these. <laughs> because I'm showing you again because I'm, I'm going to zoom over here now because <laughs> uh, now we've got the beautiful Kingfisher and Son sorry I'm over here <laughs> I know it's because I have to because um, <laughs> it's over here um, the, the lovely Kingfisher now you can see the picture there um, 965052 is your item number um, again the Kingfisher is absolutely stunning sorry I'm just having a little rummage and seeing if I can find Kingfisher sample. Oh, there is the canvas in front of you. Amazing. And hopefully and we're looking at the more, stamp. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully. Yeah, there <laughs> we go. Um, so the kingfisher. So you've got the two beautiful kingfishers. Um, again, you've got all the different flowers. The flowers and the foliage, you'll mix and match along with all the stamps. And I like that because you, within the collections, if you are collecting your stamps, you've got so much foliage, so you can build up different scenes yeah. every time. And we were saying earlier as well, because I hand draw them and it's all done by the same person, yeah. all your stamps will start to mix and match. Yes. You'll find that you're delving into, you know, all different ones. Yeah. to um, stamp up your finished sample. These are lovely. I mean, the kingfishers, let's face it, kingfishers are ridiculously magical, aren't they? Yes, so, again, I, quite elusive. You normally yes. just see like a little blue flash yeah, go you past you if you're yeah. lucky enough to see that. Yeah, <laughs> and I'm going to show you a couple of extra samples. Um, and, of course, with these, you can see that metallic blue, which, well, it's like a blue, a turquoise, isn't it? That, obviously, you need you need that flash of colour on that yeah. kingfisher. yeah. I, oh, you always feel. I always feel like when you see a kingfisher, because it is that elusive, it just feels like a touch of magic, doesn't it? Yeah. You know, yeah. it's almost. It, it, it's just there is something really special yeah. about seeing a kingfisher, um, and they are beautiful, really beautifully drawn. Uh, stunning again 14 pounds and 39 pence so affordable um 965052 is your item number um now the next one that we've got for you is the wildflower now you've seen all the different flowers and the different um you know the different foliage this is essential we've seen this a lot within the finished samples yeah because yeah. obviously it builds up those scenes doesn't it yeah so i use this a lot when i'm teaching workshops even when we're doing uh fabric covered lanterns that yes. sort of thing because you can build a whole scene at the bottom like a hedgerow yeah and then um, i'll show you a bit of like how i stamp that it's really quick but effective but yeah, yeah you've got all your kind of silhouette yeah you know just think about on the roadside basically Absolutely. it's all those things and because as soon as it's in silhouette it just you don't need to think about colors or anything yeah but it makes a statement yeah i mean, I mean it builds up beautifully yeah you can stamp it in color if you want to yeah i tend to stamp them like a, a you know black silhouette because that comes from my painting technique yes and yeah. it kind of came from the idea of you know even the things that you don't pay attention to in the hedgerow which we think are weeds yes um, they have got a huge amount of detail in them yeah. so to me just stamping them in silhouette kind of shows that off it, yeah. you know it kind of yeah. demonstrates the structure of them yeah i i absolutely agree and i, I think it makes you look at, you should look at the hedgerows differently i yeah. mean at the minute when i walk the dogs it's all the buttercups and they're just they're beautiful yeah. they, you know they're just be everything's just beautiful especially when they go to seed and they're kind of drying out yes. as well so yes. th where i got all of these from was when i would take the dogs out i'd yeah. pick the occasional one go back to the studio and i've got a sketchbook full of just oh, kind of wildflowers and yeah. then i'll dip into that 
when I w want some inspiration and just yeah, Amazing. do them in You've silhouette. Got there, yeah. Yeah. They're beautiful. Um, if you do want your beautiful wildflowers, only eleven pounds and sixty nine pence zero six zero six six four your item number. Now our wonderful frog, Phileas Frog, um, <laughs> Phileas Frog and friends um, love this one. The snails are ace, <laughs> aren't they? I love the little bottles as well. Yes, they're cool. Yes. And the names on them are from the uh, fungi, the mushrooms ah, that are fantastic. in the set. Fantastic. Scally cap juice. You've got <laughs> blue green slime head. <laughs> yeah. Fantastic. So that, yeah, that is, I can't remember which one it is, but that is one of the toadstools that's in there. That's brilliant. But yeah. <laughs> Some of the toadstools have amazing names, yeah. don't they? Yeah, they do. I love that one. And I like his little hat because obviously he might be wearing his bow tie, he might be wearing his little hat, or yeah. he might be um, chancing it and not wearing anything. <laughs> um, brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant. I'll show you that one again because because that one's got his little hat on, which is Ace. Um, and then, I'm sure I saw uh, some more froggy some ones. More, yeah. oh, hold on, we're rummaging know, for maybe froggy ones. Mm, I don't know where they've gone. The they were here. They're somewhere safe. Yeah, they're very safe, yeah, it's very safe. Never, yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know where he is. But there's even a little Beautiful. tie for one of your snails. Amazing. You know, because, uh, you know, a snail with a tie. You Why know, wouldn't you? They want to go to nice occasions sometimes and they need to dress up. <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> um, if you do want Phyllis Frog and his friends, 408288. Obviously, you're not going to be paying 15.99 because I'm presuming you are in our club, which means that price drops to £14.39. Now, uh, we've also got in this beautiful collection hazel hair. So, hazel hair, or oh, is she the sister of Hawk? Of Walking. yeah amazing and she's beautiful we were saying names most names apart from phileas are from friends and family oh. and in real life hazel and hawkin are sisters because hawkin is a maiden name of my mum oh that's lovely so yeah this i <laughs> love this one i think she's absolutely beautiful the flowers on it are sensational because again it gives it a different look doesn't it from yeah. the others so those can be used as borders you could use them yeah. just on their own but i have shaped them as such that they can be like little flower crowns yeah or a little necklace that sort of thing i love that yeah so beautiful. like that one yeah the, this is so beautiful and i like it because there she does look like a little girl you know she's got her flowers etc <laughs> doesn't have to you know i i think that one she looks like a little boy or obviously it's whatever you want it to be it doesn't need to be a boy and girl we know uh, but I, yeah, I think this this is beautiful. I have favourite favourites always, and I think this might be one of my favourite favourites. <laughs> I, I, I really like that. I just think it's st such a beautiful image, and I love hairs. Um, again, they feel magical, they don't are. they? Yeah, magical. Yeah. Um, 980078 is your item number. So pleased we've got two hours, because <laughs> we've already spent half an hour. I know. So please, there's a lot to go through. Didn't think about this one. They put so much on the show, Ooh, did I? There's a lot to go <laughs> Sorry, through. and we haven't even been through all the stamps yet. And the stamps, you have to look at them. Now we have got another one. Um, so the next stamp set that we're uh, going to take you to, uh, this is Barney Bird, uh, which is so lovely, and little Melissa Mouse. I know. And this is beautiful because <laughs> look at the bird with all that detail and the little mouse. And there's so much on. You've got again. You've got all the beautiful wildflowers flowers you've got the crown uh, you've got the butterflies you've got the ladybird there so tell us the story behind this because this is adorable so yeah so in my head I've created little stories of the characters that live in the garden so Melissa is my good friend from Simply Vintage yeah um, and Barney used to be her little doggy so yeah. they were partners in crime so in my head Melissa Mouse and Barney Bird have little adventures around the garden oh. so you can stamp them so that the mouse is actually sitting on the back of Barney Bird oh, that's so um, cute. and yeah they fly around the garden having little adventures oh. you've also got a sample there oh it could be the one that you were just showing I didn't pay attention sorry which one you were just showing the one I on the board that one yes that one so that has lots of little jewels and collections in the nest oh. so again that is from melissa because simply oh. vintage she collects lots of little yeah, things yeah so it's like they go off on adventures find little things and come back oh, to the they nest find treasure exactly shiny yeah. lovely treasure yes. to put in the <laughs> nest stunning i love the detail i mean that actually does look like it's been stitched or something doesn't it i was just gonna say it's size like that as well because i do a lot of free motion embroidery uh. so you can stamp it straight on 
onto fabric and then yeah. stitch and bead into it if Which you so desire. Which works so well with yeah. Melissa. Yeah. Um, that's absolutely stunning. £15.99, 191841 is your item number. And then we have to show you Christopher Crow um, because Christopher's marvellous. I love this one because this one has got a proper touch of the magic about him, yes. hasn't it? He's yeah. gorgeous. And he, you know, he also has a, a top hat. He's got a crown, which we have seen that crown stamped on Hawking yes. as well. Yeah. So they work together. He's also got grasses. So these, right at the top under yes. the word Christopher, yeah. some people have looked at that as a stamp and think, oh, that looks a bit weird. But it's it's the perspective so that it will stamp onto him Perfect. because he's side facing. Yeah, that, that yeah. absolutely works. And then the moon and the sun both fit inside the moon phase mantle as well Beautiful. so if you want those stamped in there you can pick either one that's so cool I really really like this one I think yeah Christopher is my other fave because I do I mean I love I love your ravens and your crows and that that family because they're yeah. just they're just very cool, aren't yeah. they? Yeah. And and obviously, I mean, beautiful to colour in. Look at him. He's ace. And this <laughs> works with everything, all the other goodies um, on the show. And of course, look at his little crown. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And I love this because it's really nice and dark. Look at him. Um, 072974 is your item number. Um, beautiful. £15.99. Now, I know you might be sat at home going, yes, but where's the magpie? Um, that's been brought in <laughs> because obviously these are your original works of art. Yeah. This is where the story begins, essentially. Yeah, so this is one of my original um, paintings. So this is a technique I use. So this is all hand painted, but this is where the idea of the stamps came from. Yeah. And we were saying earlier, um, I was introduced to the craft industry by Jenny May's hobby act. She has Amazing. a show tomorrow afternoon, actually. Oh, but I think I'm we might Jenny just miss it. But yeah, she's in tomorrow afternoon. Oh, good. So I was actually, because I do a lot of teaching, I was yeah. teaching workshops, and I was trying to break it down and kind of simplify the technique. Yeah. Um, so I was looking for suppliers of stamps. And Perfect. I found Jenny. Yeah. I was showing her some of my work, and she loved, you know, the originals yeah. of which she, her and her daughter, bought a couple. Yeah. <laughs> and then basically asked me if I would design for her. That's so, so that's cool. how I started designing stamps. And now you look know. At you. Look, now at you now. look at me. <laughs> look at you now. I love that she's got some of your originals. Yeah. I mean, that that yeah. is beautiful, beautiful. Um, and I love that because that is exactly where the story began, which is so exciting. Um, if you do want anything on the show, we have got one more kit. Actually, I know we're we're you know pushing our time, but we'll show you this one more kit. Come over here, kid. Uh, I've I was going to say email. the glue might still be wet on this one. <laughs> <laughs> it's very fresh. It's very fresh. So is this a very fresh? Kit? It is, yeah. So I do bring uh, new designs every month. There's and lots. this one we will be featuring on the second um, show, actually, this afternoon. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. So um, this is what we call a Coptic stitch. So suitable... Well, you've got the instructions so anyone can follow it. Right. But I would say if you've done some of my simpler... Um, book kits it might be easier to follow the instructions on this one so now so with the the actual so let me show you where you're aiming so this is where you're aiming so you've got cardstock you've got um you've got all sorts you've got the board to actually cover it you've got yep. all the lovely um dangles. embellishments dangles, and loads Lee. of dangles <laughs> <laughs> loads of dang there you dangles you've got loads of hardware as well so you've got i'm um, not sure if you can see them but that beautiful uh, metal embellishment which is just exquisite and um, you've got loads and loads of your beautiful sort of pit there we go um sorry about my fingernails i've still <laughs> got painting i know i know it looks vile but you know i even washed up to try and get rid of it but it didn't work <laughs> uh, you've then got i know even washed up um so you've got loads of elements you've got all these as well and it means you can create so many different looks with your your book yeah, doesn't so it so you've got your Love cover that. papers and your inside cover papers which are scaled for you so Beautiful. all you need to do is cover the boards and then yeah all of these extra bits you can put them on the covers or obviously in your book Beautiful. so it's called vintage finding so it comes from a previous um print pack that we had which yeah. is on the show again we'll feature it on the on the later show um, but it's that idea of that kind of 
shabby chic it, yeah. to me it's like that you know when you rummage in yes. like grand attic type yeah. of thing and you might find pictures of people and you don't know who they are yeah and there might be old bits of lace and there might be you know all these different things that eclectically yeah. kind of come together yeah. <laughs> that's Love the idea behind like it yeah. Yeah, yeah so to actually make the book did you say you've got instructions full instructions which perfect aren't on the counter <laughs> amazing but that's but yeah it, so it's full got instructions the stitching to actually technique. do this i'm gonna try and film it as well because i was going to demo this this afternoon but when i was making this one i realized that i have to stitch towards me and i don't know if the camera yeah. will be able to catch it so yeah i'll speak to the director later and see if we can manage yeah. that if yeah. so i will show you the stitching technique Amazing. or i'll try and get something onto social media or, or it's youtube lovely. it's really lovely because you're making a really substantial book yeah. and then you can put as many of the the inserts the sheets in yeah, as you so want we've got um eight signatures so yeah. each section is called a signature and each one has three sheets in it amazing um and also the type of stitch this is it means it's a lay flat book uh -huh, so okay. wherever you open it up it will lay flat so you can oh, use it as cool. a sketchbook or yeah. you know collaging in that sort of thing that's so you've got well your double cool. page spread yeah i love that that's really 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 nice um and again really affordable 17 pounds and 99 pence um the look of this what you can do with it all those that gorgeous embellishments are beautiful zero two zero four double zero is your item number now do check the website out so you're going to see all the goodies that jenny's brought us and not just for this hour but for the next hour as well uh sorry the next two hours so we have a, a break <laughs> at tw 12 and then we have uh, yeah it's like i have no idea and then we're back on at one and two um so that's where and i forgot what my sentence were so yeah anyway that <laughs> that stuff whatever i was saying i do apologize my brain's a little bit tired and words are escaping me which is a bit odd when you're meant to be presenting television yes. um but yeah don't let me down the only yeah, no, I'll be, I'm <laughs> don't here. leave me so long. i remembered what i wanted to say now so, right. uh, the website <laughs> is also showing you the stuff that's on the later hours that's where we're trying to go right our journey right. where are we starting well i'm going to show some of the collage techniques you know we were saying when we're looking at the magpie painting yes this is kind of what this is developed from perfect um so this is what you've got in your collage board so i was thinking with the time we've got we can go for a large Ooh, board yeah yeah um, i'm so used to um trying to make demos a little bit quicker <laughs> yeah yeah it's <laughs> but quite nice when we you've could got go, yeah, a bit we could of go extra with time a large one. we've got the tissue paper and we've got the super smooth card so we don't need that yet we can pop that to one side so like i was saying if you're using the smaller boards you can obviously cover the whole board with one piece of paper beautiful should you want to yeah we're going to start ripping it up and just patching it in yeah cool now okay. i'm using using just a pva glue right obviously i do my own book binding glue but there's no need to use oh my tummy's growling <laughs> there's no need that to made use it really it, good it did, it did sound like <laughs> phileas frog it might be in your stomach properly gurgling wasn't it <laughs> um, uh, there's no need to use your good glue for this right. is what i'm trying to say okay it so will don't do bother the job, using the posh stuff but you don't need to use the good stuff right okay right so it doesn't matter so when we're book binding we yeah. want to get everything as smooth as possible okay. when we're doing this sort of thing wrinkles don't matter yeah yeah um because it adds to the texture yeah and so we like the where texture where you don't want really big grooves or whatever it doesn't matter if yeah. you've got a few wrinkles amazing so just so ripping and we're tearing. just going to rip into it so if there's any bits that you you um i won't do this as fully as i would do if i was doing it on a canvas yeah because um when we're doing it on canvas we will use lots and lots of wet media and yeah. that uh, that would take us all day to do so yes. although we've got a yes. while we don't have all day no absolutely <laughs> and it is d d it, it's surprising how uh, quickly time does actually go and it's funny it's like oh you're tearing it all yeah but this know. is the thing you I know. because you're using layers and layers and layers yeah. and the paper's a nice weight to actually do your collage your layers isn't it yeah so normally the print packs would normally be on a 90 gsm smooth touch paper yeah these i print on a slightly lighter one because they're for yeah. collage you kind of want a little bit thinner yeah but where i was going so i lost track where i was going was <laughs> with the background pattern 
if you are layering lots and lots and lots yeah. some of it will disappear you won't see all of it and that's fine again you know when I was saying about layers yeah if you think about like your hedgerows and things like that there are things behind the hedgerow that yeah. you don't see yeah. but it forms part of it yeah if all there was was the front yeah you've yeah, got yeah. those gaps and it just wouldn't yeah you know depth to so it. so we're working in layers yeah um, I think I forgot oh I think I forgot to clean that brush out <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a bit solid but we're so similar <laughs> <laughs> I've got more solid brushes than not. I even I did a show the other day, um, my Marlene show, and um, I'd watched her Facebook live, and she was saying, right, you should use when you're doing your paint brushes, um, you should use your dirty water. You should be cleaning your paint brushes that you're using acrylic, and then watercolor paints in different water. <laughs> and I was like, oh, I've never done that in my life. But I thought, right. So now, not only have I got my paint brushes, but now I've got two water pots on the go. Have you? Yeah. <laughs> I thought, oh, I'll try and remember to do that. We'll see how long it lasts. Yes, we'll see. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. I am terrible for that because you shouldn't leave paintbrushes oh, in water. Um, yeah. I do. I'm doing a project. I use different yeah. brushes. They go in, and then once I've finished the project, I'm less interested in cleaning, yeah, cleaning my brushes. Is, cleaning brushes <laughs> is not the exciting bit of the project, is it? But for this sort of thing, you, again, you don't want to use your good brushes. Yeah, you yeah, don't yeah. need to. Yeah, um, not with your adhesive, you don't. No. And no. you, so you obviously glue down first and then glue over the top because yeah. that's going to seal so, it. Yeah, so I'm putting a layer down and obviously we're overlapping as well. Yeah. Um, and always rip the paper, don't cut the paper. Yes, yes. Um, because where we're joining it, you want that as a more yeah. of a feathered edge. So yeah. if you do get the texture of that edge come through, it's softer yeah. if you're ripping it, yeah. basically. Because if you cut it, it's going to give you that really hard yeah. edge, isn't it? Yeah. With the PVA, did you water it down at all? Um, I haven't, but I will do on our next bit. So right. when I do workshops, I tend to say to people, because we're going to put tissue paper over this. Yes. So thicker paper thicker glue yeah. so it's just as it is yeah when we use the um tissue paper it's yeah. thinner paper thinner glue yes. yes so if you start using a thick pva on your tissue paper it might rip yes um, yeah. i often put a layer over the top of the tissue paper and then once that's dried down although it's only tissue paper it will take quite a lot of abuse yeah. it will take yes. quite a lot of um wet mediums yeah um but you know in its in its natural form without yeah. that layer of glue it won't yeah it's, it's quite fragile yes yeah, so you do um you do water it down for that and it's a good yeah. technique to know is that because otherwise you know not one application of glue is always the same for another and i love layout because it, there might be different designs but they blend in beautifully don't they yes and uh, what I was going to say was, again, because I lost my train of thought, <laughs> I don't think I said it earlier. When you're layering, yeah. if there's, because like I said, some of this may disappear. Um, we might not layer it enough for it to do that. Um, but if there's a particular pattern that you want to still see yes. in the background, I would use it quite centrally. Because what I tend to do when I paint, whatever colour you paint, um, I tend to keep it lighter in the centre right, because okay. when we start stamping with our silhouette, if we keep it lighter there, that is yeah. our light source. So it makes sense ah. of this being in silhouette right, because okay. it would need to have like the yeah. sun behind it or, or whatever. Yeah, so your favourite bit, keep where the yeah, sun should be. Yeah, I would keep be. more central if you think you're going to want to see it. Right, we just Amazing. need one more longer gonna, strip um, here. Right, right. I'm going to go on right here. <laughs> I'm not. No, I'm going to read. <laughs> okay. I'm Are gonna, you sure? I, no. no, I'm not. I mean, this is a plan of action. Let's see what occurs. I'm going to go on right here. <laughs> Hello, uh, Leonie Journey and all the crew. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I, I, we didn't have an LOM yet. Um, so, um, I've just started using Mix. Um, oh, that's brilliant. Just started using Mix Media after watching Leonie. Oh, thank you. Inspirational demos and advice um, that shows how to use different mediums and paper packs. Without your demos, I would never have got into Mix Media. Yay! Um, so, thank you so much. I'll be buying some of Journey's products as well. Oh. Um, I bought my first ever Stamperia set, the Vo Village Library. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Um, a few weeks ago, I've attached some pictures of what I've done so 
so far. I made a small album with the 8 by 8 papers and moulds. I've used the 12 by 12 papers. This would be a great time to show them if we can uh, while Jane is cutting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, ju just because Jane is cutting at that bit. That is absolutely <laughs> beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, wow. So that's using the 8 by 8 obviously, and then the 12 by 12 to make a first piece of wall art which actually I think that is, to be fair. Um, I've used Ampira rice papers to upcycle two tabletops as well. And the frame on of the wall art, uh, you may recognize, oh, that's beautiful. Oh, that's absolutely gorgeous. Oh, Sue, thank you so much. Oh, wow. Are they your tabletops as well? Good, great, hey, that looks good. That looks they're lovely, aren't they? Yeah, 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 they're beautiful. Oh, yeah, they're really nice. I was so, so, so are so. Is that frame that you used, the one that we did on a workshop years and years ago? I wonder if it is. Um, da, da, da. Uh, frame on the wall, right, you may recognise. Oh, my gosh. And the frame of, right, because <laughs> she's put two side tables. And the frame of the wall art, uh, which you may well recognise. I bet it is, you know. Is it, Sue? Did we do that? <laughs> You're going to have to write back to me now, Sue. Because it does look... We did a workshop yonks and yonks and yonks ago. And we did um, the MDF frame. And um, I can't even remember how we covered it. Oh, I do remember how we covered it. We made our own... Um, Papers, didn't we? So, anyway, I'm babbling on. <laughs> Can't uh, yeah, you. <laughs> yeah, didn't you? So, um, I've still loads left uh, from both paper pads and rice papers, so plenty more uh, projects. Sue, thank you so much for sharing. You're obviously now going to have to write back and let me know if it was that frame. <laughs> um, but we will we'll send those when I say we, I'm going to actually go, Laura, can we send them to Clear? <laughs> uh, because what we can do, if you send them over to our Clear with Sue's name, she'll put them on our Facebook page. Page. and if you just put these are for the Facebook page sorry everyone at home <laughs> um, but yeah and then they'll get put on our Facebook page um, with all our in our mixed media album so thank you ever so much Sue that's absolutely beautiful keep those emails coming in um, and we will follow those all over to our clear for our Facebook page so thank you right so you cut round the actual um, yeah all I did was um, I've just literally trimmed off the excess yes. yeah. and when it's dried down so after this is on we've done our painting it's dried down yeah I would just run well, I would say sandpaper I hate yes. sandpaper but I use some little nail files yeah yeah, yeah. so you can yeah. either you know and it has to be dry because if yes. you still it can feel dry to the touch yeah. but once we start working in layers you've still got moisture underneath yeah. Yeah. Um, so if you start trying to do it when it's still I don't want to say when it's yeah. still moist yeah <laughs> but, <laughs> but I did I did it, I did it. <laughs> <laughs> you'll rip it yeah. and you don't want to do that yeah. especially when you get to the end of it if you rip anything now you can still kind of fill it yes, in but once yes. we start layering getting paint on it would yeah. be a real shame it would. yeah do be patient i am not and i can <laughs> absolutely vouch for it does tear okay what's so, next i'm just putting some water in with the pva now okay. so i'll mix it up beautiful so because we're going in with tissue paper now so yeah. I'm just going to put yes. a little bit more in there. So it's really, really liquid. Yeah, so you don't want to go so liquid that you lose the stickiness of yes. the glue. Yeah. Um, but it needs to be, I mean, it's not running off the brush as well because my brush is dirty. <laughs> <laughs> but, so there's a couple reasons for layering tissue paper. One is obviously this is very bold now, yeah. but we want it to be the background. So we need to what we call knock it back right, a little okay, bit. Yep. Now you could do this with some gesso. Yeah. My stomach's growling again. <laughs> it's really cute. <laughs> it's funny, isn't yeah. it? <laughs> um, so yeah, you could do it with a little bit of gesso. Yeah. Um, if you wanted this to be bold, you could use a clear gesso over it. Of course, yeah. But yeah, we just want to knock it back a little bit because we want to see some of the pattern, but we don't want it to be, you know, it is background. Yes. We don't want yes. it to be as bold. So I'm putting this thinner glue over the whole piece. Wonderful. Now, you want to try not to, and I'll tip it up in a minute in the light to try and make sure I haven't missed any. 
Yeah. Because yeah. where I was saying that it doesn't matter if you get some wrinkles and that kind of adds to it a little bit if you do get some of the wrinkles. You don't want to miss any spots and get air bubbles. Yes. That's what yeah. you don't want. Yeah. So I try and tip it so that the light catches it so I can check. Beautiful. And you want to try and get this down in one go. Right. Now, the tissue paper in this kit, it's got a shiny side and a matte side. And I'm putting shiny side down. Yeah. Yeah. And the, the, using the tissue rather than the gesso, it's lovely because of the texture, because of yeah. the, like when you get the creases and the crinkles, it, yeah. it makes it look interesting, yeah. doesn't so it? Yeah, that's, so that's the other reason for the, yeah. for the tissue paper. So one, you can see that's already kind of yes, knocked it back. it's really muted it. But I am going to put two layers on. Amazing. So you can see that's where we started and this is yeah. where it is now. Yeah. We're going to put some more glue over the top of it so it will you know obviously yeah. it's it's transparent yeah so anything like this where i've kind of got the horizontal line i would rub that out a little bit because right. we don't when, once we put color on yeah if the color gathers there and i don't know how far up my stamping's going to come yet you don't want your eye to be taken yes. to any kind of verticals or horizontals yeah so little wrinkles like this perfectly fine but and again, when you're doing your collage, try and avoid a line that goes through the centre. Right. Because you don't want your eye to be drawn to that. Yes. You want your eye to move all that the way over it. That absolutely makes, yeah, that makes complete sense. Did and I make sense? Yeah, mate. <laughs> you did. Yeah. <laughs> right, you've made lots of sense throughout the hour, so I'd be worried if I were you. <laughs> yeah. I need to go and have a lie down. Yeah, here, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and I understood it. Which, you I've, know. Got, I've got a sign on my workshop in my workshop window that says, I tried to be normal once, worst <laughs> two minutes of my life. <laughs> yeah, same, same. It's overrated, isn't I it? Feel, yeah, I feel we are very similar, you and I, in lots of ways. Yeah, we, 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 there's, a few, there's a few things in there that overlap. <laughs> yeah. in so the you can see where this fold line yes. is. So I'll just try and smooth that out a little bit. So you need to be quite gentle with it at right. this point because like i said in its kind of raw state for want of a better term um tissue paper is very fragile but what i'm going to do now is put another layer so it almost seals it wow yeah, and then yeah. i'm going to need to dry it okay so i know we did spend a lot of time down the counter but i don't know if there's anything you want to do oh, while i've just got there's the always heat gun things on, we can do or we can natter while the you heat guns on whatever really, i mean look now at that look yeah. at the difference it really does knock it back doesn't it yeah. it really does the job it's absolutely exquisite and i do think things like this um, there's that many different things you can do with it and the tissue paper I mean you can drag up color and everything can't you with that but you can also um, I might not do it today but also if you want to layer things on here yes. you can stamp onto your tissue paper yeah kind of feather the edge so yeah. rip it again you can use a little bit of water if you want to you yeah. know direct it around something and then once you stick it on the tissue paper almost disappears yeah. so it looks like you've stamped directly yeah. on it not so essential when you're working on board yes. but i do this technique a lot on canvas yeah. so y you can't really stamp yes. on it because you've got that hollow in the yeah, center yeah, so you haven't yeah. got even pressure yeah um, and once you stamp onto it it's there yeah it's easier to stamp on board but again if you're unsure you can do it on yeah. tissue paper and then overlay it yeah and so again it just adds those layers uh, right our journey is going to do a cheeky bit of heat setting uh, <laughs> so while she heat sets uh, we can do some pictures and numbers for you because we've got loads of wonderful pictures and numbers have you got it plugged in it's all I right have, but i'm just trying okay. to stretch it across yeah <laughs> <laughs> okay, now, um, a few few picks and numbers. So, first of all, what we have got for you, um, and this is the kit that our Jane is using. So, you've got those beautiful background papers. You've got um, the college, uh, college, <laughs> the collage boards. Uh, you've also obviously got the tissue paper. So, the tissue paper, is, I love the sound of tissue paper, but I do like how it, how it really does allow you to, to knock everything back and it builds up that beautiful sort of, I don't know, it looks like a misty morning, doesn't it? 869-415 is your item number. The prices on the show are amazing. You know, club members, you're only paying £13.49 and pence for that kit. It's an absolute bargain. 869-415. Now, if you want that collage pack on its own, you've got that choice. So you can actually just go for loads and loads. How many is in the college pack? College, collage pack. <laughs> 25 designs, two of, two of each? Yeah. Good God. 
<laughs> good God, sorry. <laughs> Shouldn't blaspheme. Good, good grief. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! I'm, I, yeah, I need to be careful what I'm saying today, don't I? Um, Four forty-nine. Good God! <laughs> um, <laughs> made me giggle. Uh, five eight seven six five five is your item number. Um, that's a brill price. It's under a fiver. Um, yeah, cracking that and beautiful designs. Um, now we've also got, and I love these easel set because obviously perfect for your decoration. Um, only nine. 999 that's 193584 your item number you get uh, nice sizes as well plus the beautiful easels um, you can flat pack them for sending and club members you're spending 899 um, now the most popular stamp that we've got um, oh is lovely hawking oh, <laughs> of course it is um, if you're going for hawking you can't leave out your sister <laughs> Can you, Hazel? Um, if you do want beautiful, beautiful Hawking, 747096 is your item number. And then we've got gorgeous Hazel. You can't leave, ha leave Hazel because um, the sisters. And this is gorgeous, <laughs> gorgeous. Oh, I love that. That's my favourite, favourite Hazel. I love it. I, I think it's because Hazel were in Watership Down, weren't she? Um, he actually, I think it was in Watership Down. And, oh, I love it. Anyway. And, and that is just such a gorgeous stamp. It's the way it's looking at you. 14 pounds <laughs> and 39 pence, 980079 is your item number. Now, also very popular um, Oh, is our lovely little Tony Owl, and she's beautiful. She is magical, is Tessa. Um, absolutely adorable. Um, and of course, you've got loads of extras for building up all those wonderful patterns. 15.99. 150361 uh, is your item number. 14 pounds and 39 pence. Uh, we'd love to hear from you. Do email them because um, because it's right nice. Studio <laughs> at creatoncraft.com. <laughs> it's just right nice. Um, you can put your orders through on the website as well. That is creatoncraft.com. You can ring us 01733602000. And I had to close my eyes to reach into my brain um, because obviously it does pop up but um now then <laughs> all dry well it's Ish. it's tacky uh, yeah. i would fully dry it but you know yeah 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 no one's got time for that i suppose it's nice to leave it to dry naturally as well and it do quite a few of them then put them to a side and Can leave you it to ever dry. leave anything to dry naturally uh, yeah i really do, do you? actually yeah yeah i really do all actually right. That all surprised you right. didn't it it did <laughs> to be fair i prefer it because i can't be bothered heat setting <laughs> I oh, know. I'd rather put some at the side. Very no, I'm Yeah, I'm a weird one like that. It's funny. Someone was saying to me, we have done a lot of teaching recently. Yeah. yeah. You know, don't want to say it again, but I was on a cruise teaching. Uh -huh. <laughs> ba, ba, ba. And there were people that said to me, you're, you're ever so patient. I said, the funny thing <laughs> is, in no, life, I'm not. Yeah. I'm not. When I'm teaching, I am. Yeah. It's weird. You've become a whole new don't persona. I, yeah, I do. Yeah, that's good. Because being an impatient teacher... <laughs> No, that wouldn't go down well. well it's it? hilarious. Yeah. Will you be quick? So, yeah. <laughs> Shall I just do it for you? <laughs> come here, come here, I can do it for you because I'll be a lot quicker. Yeah. It's taking way too long. We're being way too mindful. We need to get this finished. Come on. Yeah. Top, top. <laughs> so, what yeah. I'm doing is watering down my acrylic. Now, this right. is important. Right. So if you go in too thick, you're just going to cover everything yes. we've done. Yes. So although we've knocked it back, we want to see some of this, okay? So I would say if in doubt, put a little bit more water. Yeah. If you go on too thick, like I said, it's, and it, and yeah, it's a bit of a nightmare it blending it. Yeah. So I'm watering it down a little bit at a time and I'm actually scrubbing it in. Beautiful. Okay. So, and we're feathering. So basically what I'm going to have is essentially three bands of colour. Okay, so the yellow is for the sunlight that's uh, shining through. Now you yeah. can do this with whatever colours you like. Yes. I tend to demo with these colours because it kind of demonstrates Itself. you know what I'm talking about. It works, about a doesn't bit it? Better. It yeah. makes sense. And green at the bottom. Now Beautiful. so we can always add more. Yeah. But if you go in too thick and actually on our screen it's showing actually a lot lighter than what I'm yeah. putting it on. Yeah. But and then the important thing is when you get to these lines, you know where I was saying you don't want lines, yes. you know, separating it through. So we've got two colours, but we want to blend them. Right. So I'm just using a circular motion. Yeah. 
and this is another reason why you want to make sure that this is fully dry before you do this yeah it feels a bit strange drying something and then making it wet again yeah, yeah. but because you've got the pva into the tissue paper it hardens it up yes um if it's not dry enough even doing this sort of thing could pill up your tissue yeah. paper yeah you might which start you don't agitating want. it too much yeah. you? so i will build this up with more color but i just want to show you so you can see obviously that's two colors yeah. but it has blended yeah and I, i'm hoping that it's showing on the tv better than it is on our screen that yeah. we can see yeah all right ours is a bit yeah sometimes so I, I will build up the color a little bit more but again going into the top so with the blue and it does i mean it it is nice and soft but that's what you're looking for yeah. having um because it's sealed if you do do any bubbles um yeah. as long as it's dry it does mean you can go back and and rescue some things doesn't it yeah and that is one of the joys with mixed media as well yeah. it is quite forgiving yeah yeah so i'm going to build up the color more because like i said on the screen that looks quite insipid yeah yeah um i'll just very quickly blast it yeah because um when i put on color now i might put it in a slightly different form and it means I'm layering over. Yes. If I put it directly onto wet on wet, it will merge into it. Yeah, so it yeah. depends what you want. If you want to just build it and merge it, wet into wet. Yeah, yeah. If you want it to be slightly separate, which you'll see what I mean in a minute, hopefully, yeah. if it shows up on screen. Amazing. No, it should do, <laughs> hopefully. Um, now, while our journey is um, doing that little bit, we're going to have a little look at, um, at a clip. It's two blokes, a band chatting about cat postage. <laughs> You get the goodies, I'll get the door. OK. Hello, Create and Craft Delivery. Wow, this is the biggest order I've ever seen. Haven't you heard? If you order anything from Create and Craft now, it's a cat PMP of £3.95 per order. Cat PMP of only £3.95? For all of this? Yes, it doesn't matter what you order or how many different items you buy. What, even the really heavy stuff like this? Yes, sewing machines, die-cutting machines, everything in the van. Oh, there we go. That's the last of it. I don't think they're at home. We'll have to come back later. I'll warm up the van. Oh, hi! Fancy a cup, huh? Oh, yes. That'll be lovely. Chop, chop, Dan. Order two or more items from Create and Craft and we'll cap your postage at just three ninety five. no matter how many different items you buy. Shopping at Create and Craft just got even better. Hello and welcome back. Um, now, our journey is just layering. Again, if you do have any questions, email in. Um, but of course, if you've uh, got your photographs, we like seeing those as well. And just popping a little bit more paint down but i'm i'm doing just in small amounts because yeah. again that's another thing people automatically put out too much paint yes so it's better yes, just yes. To put out a tiny little amount yeah and then you're not wasting it right so hopefully this is a little bit um, yeah, you can thicker see that. so hopefully you can see that a little bit better so again so i'm bringing this blue down slightly beautiful now such a nice color like I said, these are, you can do this with any sort of colours you want. So if yeah. you want um, a more um, autumnal feel, yeah. I, I, I waited before I said that because in my head that <laughs> word didn't sound right. <laughs> that is right, isn't it? Autumnal. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I have trouble with that one. It foxes um, me every time. Yeah, so you could have more kind of ochre colours yeah. um, and it would start to look more like a, a forest scene. Yes. But like yeah, said, you I, could really warm it, couldn't yeah, you? Yeah, but I tend to demo with these colours because they're quite good colours yes. to kind of demonstrate well, I think what when I'm it's yakking literal, on about. <laughs> sometimes when it's literal, it, it's easier to show what you're talking about. You know, sometimes if it's a bit too abstract, if people aren't into that kind of thing... Yeah then yeah. obviously it can be like, what? You know, whereas when it's literal, it's quite nice. Yeah, so you see now I'm starting to shape it around. Again, quite feathered, um, but to get this central light area. Beautiful. And oh, yeah. then again, that will And now you can really in. see that central area. Yeah. That's really popped even on the camera. Well, not as much on the camera, but it's, it is there. So this is the only trouble with kind of drying down in between and whatever. Beautiful. So 
um, I might go in with some stencils and then we'll pop that to one side. So right. you so can let always, it dry. Yeah, well, you don't have it naturally, uh -huh. yes. <laughs> um, because you don't always have to fully finish the background and then go on to what yes. I call the topper. Yeah. We can do it, yeah. you know. And I like that because it does give you natural times to break and, and let yeah. things dry, doesn't yeah. it? Um, remember, if you do want the stencils, um, they are beautiful. Um, and of course, you are getting, you get your four stencils, but because you're getting two patterns on each or two different sizes on each, um, it does mean you've got eight in total, really. 19 pounds and 99 pence, it's five, five, four, 189 uh, club members it will drop the 17 pounds 99 pence so it's just debating then what to use for the stencils and I'm just gonna again a lot of it is trial and error yeah so this is this is how mixed media works a lot of the time it's like what if yeah 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 so I yeah. might do this might not work yeah but we'll work a way around it yeah so I've literally put out a little bit of gesso it's quite a thin gesso this one actually and I'm gonna put it through with my fingers okay now I'm not looking for an absolute definite um, kind of design yeah this is something that again is gonna merge into the background Beautiful. she says she hopes <laughs> because we'll see we'll Thing see is, how it works now I find that when you put it on with your finger you can you can do that easier you can actually blend it in easier can't you yeah I use my fingers quite a lot yeah and if I'm doing um, a larger painting yeah a large canvas I will very often flick paint on it I will get nice. it on my hands and move it around and that's another thing I like about these techniques is you can be um, quite messy at the beginning yeah, and then yeah. almost as you keep working it becomes a bit more refined yes. so once we do the stamping and get the details so I'm just putting pressure on the stencil to keep it in place oh, while I flick cool. it back so I can see yeah. so you can see it's bled under here but that doesn't bother me I'm just gonna yeah, blend bleed that it out. out because again we're going for a, and I'm not sure if you can even see it on screen yeah, you can I'm going for quite a subtle yeah. effect yeah I'm also going to use the small part of the stencil Beautiful. here no th I think the subtle really works because it's not fighting with your background it's just blending yeah. into the background and it looks like I like things like this because it it looks when you look at it you have to work out whether it is part of that background or whether yeah. it's a separate entity. And then here, I'm just blending out, because again, as we as we keep saying background, but this yeah. is exactly what we're doing. We're working yes. on the background. So you don't want things fighting against each other. It, it wants yeah. to blend. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so, Love and again, it. this is the ideal thing with the two different sizes that I've yeah. put in the stencil. Um, so we can put a little bit of larger here. In actual fact, let's go in with a little bit of this green. Oh, nice. Let's see, and again, depending on how I do the stamping, you might not see much of this. Yeah. Um, that with the when I first, and I've said this a lot, but when I was doing mixed media at first, the the doing a background then do going over the top of it used to mess with me out. Yeah. It'd be like, why yeah. do I want to do that? Why yeah. do I want to spend hours doing that background yeah. and go? But now it's like, oh yeah, okay. But again, I get it's, it. it's like I was saying about layers. Yes. Y you look at something in real life and it works because it has yeah. those natural layers. Yeah, it's that depth, if isn't just, it? Exactly. Mm. So you'll see some of it and not other bits. Yeah. And it Let's just see. looks so interesting when you've got those beautiful layers. It is just so so um immersive you know because you fall into it don't you so i use a little bit of the gesso and a little bit of the yellow and i'm happy that that's enough it doesn't it doesn't oh look no i really that like much, that again some of the edges i'm just smoothing out a little bit yeah that's so beautiful. then i think what we'll do is we'll put that to one side okay cool, okay just trying to work out if i need this paint for anything else because i don't really want to get rid of the paint but it might be slightly in my way. I'll, I'll leave it because I don't want to get rid of it. <laughs> and put, if you put your elbow in it, it's not our fault. Well, um, I know. Yeah. <laughs> I Su to, uh... Sue's email back. The rice paper used for the wall art um, and the two tables I've done arrived recently. Oh, from me! Hey! And Mandy, um, my second pack arrived yesterday. Oh, Sue, that's lovely. Thank you ever so much. Um, oh, 
I didn't know she'd still done it again. Another slot, right? On <laughs> my website. Um, oh, thank you, Sue. Would it be possible to see Janie's coloured paper packs? Because I want to order the MDF packs and paper packs in the same order. So, um, the coloured paper packs, have we got them out? Yes. Uh, I'm assuming she means the ones that she'll yes. just dash and get them because well, I know what I'm going to dash and get them. <laughs> well, she dashes and gets them. I'm going to remind you, your stencils. Um, this is the, <laughs> the pack that they're going to come in, essentially. Um, you are getting all four stencils, thank you, love, uh, for just $17.99. They are absolutely gorgeous. See, our lovely Sue, boom, as if by magic. I think right, some I'm them. just trying to check they haven't been mixed up. So we've got William's yes. Attic. Is this William? No, this is William's Attic. Ooh, that's nice. Okay, bear with. Let me just check that one. So this is William's Attic. Oh, these are nice. Twelve ninety nine. These are lovely. Ah, so it's called um, William's Attic because. There's it's a bit of William Morris in there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, how magnificent. You've got all sorts of beautiful collage elements in here. Beautiful. There's so much in there. And again, $12.99, but, but of course, um, that price drops. Um, with something like this then, because there's all sorts in there, there's full pictures, there's, yep. um, there's different things that you can cut out as well, isn't there? Yep. Yeah, there's, I can't remember off the top of my head which elements are in that one yet. So you've got a, vintage style envelope Beautiful. and actually took the template from um, a Victorian envelope. Oh, wow. So I've got a little cool. collection at home. Um, yeah, seed packets. You've got oh. your vintage, another vintage envelope there. Beautiful. Oh, and look at the papers. But again, we will be concentrating on some of these in the, in yeah. the second yeah. show. Okay. So that's William's Attic. Um, that's 091715. That's your first pack. This second one here pack. is the botanist sketchbook. So there's nice. a most of this is um, kind of layered from old encyclopedias, wow, which cool. I've put on kind of. Um, so I scanned in. I've got a lot of vintage and antiquarian. Yeah. Did you know if you call it antique, that's not right. Oh, really? So you know when you say like antique pictures yeah, yeah, or yeah. antique books, it's not a book about antiques. It's oh, antiquarian. Yeah. Ah, so yeah. the, the book itself, because that's the, it's the antiquarian. actual antique, it's antiquarian. Yes. Ah. See, whereas if I said that, I think they'd be fishing it. That's aquarium. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I think it'd be now a fish tank. <laughs> so if I'm looking at it. Antiquarium. <laughs> or that I ate fish tanks, me. Oh dear. Anyway, uh -huh. <laughs> so answer them aquarium. I've scanned in uh, from an actual um, ledger page, and then I've layered the images over. Amazing. So you can even just cut these out, stick them back to back, and bind them like like an old-fashioned ledger. Oh, they're really lovely. Yeah, I love them. Um, okay, that's your second one. Um, that is your botanist sketchbook. That's five two one eight two nine is your item number. Um, please make sure you check your baskets <laughs> out with that one. That was one. all caught up. Uh, yeah, she's sure, all caught up. So that's that one. What's this and one? And this is the vintage findings. Oh. So this goes with the book that we looked at. Your antiquarium. Um, <laughs> I'll attempt to remember that word. Um, oh yeah, they, oh Sue, you've got a lot of choice here. This is tricky, isn't it? Really affordable though. Um, and you've got so many elements. I love the old ledger E. I used to work as solicitors many, many, many moons ago. And we had old ledgers that we actually used to write up the accounts yeah. in. And yeah. all right, me, I worked in the tax and trust department. I still do my department. accounts like that. Really? Yeah. All the old ledgers are just divine. <laughs> um, they're beautiful. 999-946-808. Um, please make sure you check your baskets out with those. I did used to, though. I used to be, um, I remember once, because a very big boss came in, and I were writing up these ledgers. I couldn't balance it by a penny or something. I hated it. <laughs> and because it was, like, serious, you actually had to find the penny. And I remember the big boss came and he was chatting to my boss at my boss Christine I were doing that on the table falling asleep and I remember <laughs> doing that you know when you fall off the table <laughs> oh, I, I know you said before me, but that. I could never imagine you working oh, somewhere like that weren't, it weren't for me I had a uh, lovely time but it weren't for me that. <laughs> what else are you showing us right 
I'm oh, gonna, I'm gonna we're put going those on to, to one side. Now, I'm going to leave it up to you to decide what mm. character we're going to use. Hazel. Oh, Hazel? then again, Christopher. <sighs> oh, decisions, decisions. Hazel. Hazel? Yes, Bryce. I really like Hazel. Yeah. So, because we're working on such a large... I say such a large... Um, board. Yeah. Hazel's going to sit at the bottom. Beautiful. So you need to bear that in mind um, because different stamps will sit in different places. So if we were doing Christopher, for example, yeah. he may be up here. Yes, yes. Um, Hazel, because obviously she's, you know, she's just a portrait. Yeah. She's going to sit down here somewhere. Yeah. So we're probably going to put quite a lot of detail at the top. Nice. So one. we'll have kind of hanging things. Yeah. Yeah. Um, as well as some around here. Yes. Okay. Because you kind of want to lose her in the foliage a little bit as well, don't you? Because she yeah. needs to be popping out of it, doesn't yeah. she? Yeah. So with a lot of the larger stamps, um, I use a stamp platform. Okay, okay. So especially if you've got th like Tessie Tawny Owl, lots of detail yes, in her. Yes. So I would advise if you have one, use your probably cleaner than mine. Oh no. <laughs> stamp platform. Yes. Who needs a clean platform <laughs> for goodness sake? Yeah, I'm not a clean crafter. Me neither. This is this is the thing with uh, with my book binding because uh, I'm now doing a course for for fine binding. Yes, yeah, so everything the has stuff. to be yeah, everything Ooh. has to be clean Every and it's pristine. like yeah, oh I always gosh. get fingerprints on my yeah. pages. <laughs> I'd really fail at that. And I suppose because it's proper book binding, like posh book binding, you have to measure things and do everything oh, properly. Yeah. <gasps> yeah, it's yeah. yeah. It's, it's very precise. Yeah, I'd end up crying. <laughs> and there's maths involved in everything. Oh my it's gosh. Like, yeah. <laughs> Because that's the thing, it's, you know, that's the benefit though of like the book kits that I bring yeah. is what I class as craft binding. Yes. Yeah. Um, and obviously for, there's a lot of people now that have been collecting my book kits and they now can work out how to make their own. So they might buy my cool. paper packs and board packs and things like that and start making their own. But especially when you're beginning, or if you want, you know, yeah. you don't want to have to you work don't things have to out. Think. Yes. Um, oh, there you go. Oh, She's beautiful. printed fine. She's um, perfect. You've got in your kits your spine templates yes. and things like that. You don't have to do yeah. all of that. So yeah. you know, it doesn't have to be scary mathematics yeah. and things and like that. And we like that. And we have got one, remember, we have got uh, one of those beautiful book binding kits on the show. So if you did want to have a little go at the book binding, um, we have got that kit where you do get full instructions, you get boards, you get all sorts in there. You even get your dangly bits <laughs> in that beautiful book binding kit. And that is on the show. The last one we showed you, actually. Um, so if you do want that, again, everything's so ridiculously cost effective. It's only 19.99, And you've got tons of goodies in there, including some hardware, 020400 is your item number. So all I was doing there, I'm just going to, oh no, I should be, right, be good. Be Pack good. Pack the stamp away. <laughs> don't yeah. do what don't you were do going to do. do. And, yeah, yeah, when you get so home, think, oh, that put stamp's your lid missing. Back on your <laughs> yeah, so otherwise you put your elbow in it. And I'll put that one back there. <laughs> But I'm going to leave that there because I might use more of those. Beautiful. So all I did there was with, um, this is a 04 pen, yeah. is I've just extended that because I'm thinking when I put it on there, she might need to come up a little bit um, and I'll do some stamping in front. So Beautiful. I've just extended slightly. So all I've done is basically followed the wiggly line. Yeah, and a few so little just sketchy extended bits in there. slightly. Yeah, perfect. So I think I'm going to use some pencils. Wonderful. What do you one. like to use? Oh, your bronzel. Nice. Can I just, yeah, of course you can. just tip that there? I don't I'm wanna... waiting to smell the pencils, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> <laughs> I, that's one of my favourite things. You know when you open up pencils and that smell? Yeah. Oh, I yeah. love that. It's so nice though, isn't it? They, are, they smell lovely. <laughs> so I am just going to go in, let's check on what I should have done is check the colours yeah. by the side first. And if we use water on these, the colours will change as well. Are they a water-soluble pencil yeah, then? Yeah, so I'm going in with quite a light touch. Yeah. Um, and then what I often do is pop a bit of water on there yeah. and then go back in with the pencils to create a little bit of shade. Beautiful. Um, so I'm going to put pink inside her ears. Lovely. Now, if you just want to use um, 
pencils and yep. not put the water on there. I'm using a very light touch. I'm going to show you on the side here with the same colour. So very, very light touch. Yeah. And then as you put more pressure, it becomes more intense. Yes, yes. So same colour. Yeah. And again, that's not showing up very, very well on the screen. But the more intense no, and the more pressure you put on, yeah. you can go further down here. And if you're struggling to put light pressure, if you hold it higher up, yes, you can't put more pressure on yeah. there. So yeah. you can you can build it up lightly. You can kind of cross hatch as well. You can go in with circular motions. Yeah, you know whatever works for you. Yeah, yeah. But it's always better to go in with a lighter touch, and then I'm going in a little bit harder at the base here. Yeah, just and it, so it immediately you've got shade. Yeah, you know exactly. It's um, it's quite. I love uh, our Sobo pencils because they're so uh, they can look so quick, and yeah. I do find them quite uh, forgiving. Yes, so that's they are. a nice grey. And also, if you, so again, I'm going in slightly harder here, and then I'm feathering it out with a lighter touch. So where I did it the opposite way earlier. Beautiful, yeah. Um, harder in there. So just think about where shade would be. So yeah, I'm going to I'm going to drop some in under here. Now if I'd thought about it, what I would have done was put a bit of gesso over a patterned paper and printer on there, so you could see ah, how that what we yeah, were talking yeah, yeah. about earlier. Yeah, of course. Um, because also it eliminates having to do. Colouring. as much colouring yeah. but you would still so where I'm going in here creating some shade yeah. you would still do that so even if I had a pattern paper you would knock it back yes. with your gesso yeah. and then I would still go in here just to create that little bit of depth oh, give her a little yeah. oh she's so pretty. and here as well so if you I was looking at lots of um, photos of hairs yeah. to um, to draw these yeah, and I didn't actually. Re it sounds funny, but I didn't actually realise how hairy a hair is. <laughs> yeah. Like how. So yeah. this, I think, with the eyelashes, I think, looks like I've kind of um, over exaggerated yeah. it a little bit for yeah. the effect. But actually, the they've really got long really eyelashes. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They've got really beautiful long and eyelashes. You know, it's that's what I like about doing the drawing side as well because it makes you look and see things yes. that you wouldn't normally yeah. because you have to look in so much more detail. Yes. Yeah, I love that because yeah, you you really you really um, studying it, aren't you? Yeah. In order to draw it, yeah. you're studying. Uh, we have got another email. I'm going to read to you. We're drawing. I did get lost in uh, colouring in there. <laughs> um, good morning, everyone. Good morning, lovely Jennifer. She says, as a newbie to mixed media uh, with M MDF, I get very confused about glues. What to use and where? Uh, Jennifer, I still do. <laughs> and honestly, because, I, oh, I'm terrible. But, but anyway, um, what to use and where? I've used rice paper, but we like to use papers such as the Stamperi ones I bought during Leonie's last show, but don't know what glue to use. Help, pretty please. Uh, watching with coffee, <laughs> crafty coffee <laughs> addict, Jennifer. Um, well, Jennifer, the glue I use with my Stamperi papers, depending what I'm doing, if I'm putting them on, um, if I'm doing a big project, if I'm doing something like our Jane's just done, my glue of choice is a Stamperia mixed media glue. I, I really love that stuff. You might find some on website. Um, it's cracking, it's really cracking. And then just sticking stuff on sort of the, if I'm, if I'm sticking the paper and I'm just making cards and stuff, then I'll just use a wet glue. And there's loads of wet glues about, just a wet PVA. Oh, sorry, I'm or just the, looking for a smaller brush. It's all right, love. <laughs> or the EVA, um, but just a, just a really good, strong wet glue I use. And I use a real mixture because obviously I've got all different brands, but a nice PVA. Um, is what I use. That's what I use. What about you, Jenny, for your, your gluey, your, your papery products? Because I know you just use your, your PVA there, didn't you? Well, yeah, for that sort of thing, because I know I'm watering it down. Yeah. Like I said, you don't necessarily have to use your good glue. It will work, but why use your more expensive good glue? Yeah, yeah. Um, but obviously, I've got my um, quick stick and smooth stick, yeah. which essentially is a book binding glue. So it's acid free, it's archival, Amazing. but it sticks pretty much all porous surfaces right um, okay so i do if i'm doing samples with mdf yeah. i'll put the joints together with it 
because wow. it's because it's porous. Um, and then you know, paper to board, yeah. fabric to board, it's ideal for that as well. So yeah, obviously, yeah, I'm yeah. I'm I'm going to use my glue yeah, where yeah, possible. Definitely. But like I said, the only reason I didn't use it for this is because I didn't need it's to. Your good I stuff. Did, yeah, yeah. So that's going to stick. So if she's got papers, um, a, a really nice papers, so she could absolutely use her papers yeah. onto the, so the board and stuff. So if you want, let me just show you this one so if you wanted to put a paper onto board and you want it nice and smooth yeah i'm not very inventive excuse the tape that's on here it's I mean, just because yeah. things get mixed up in the car when you're packing for things <laughs> so this so we're going off topic slightly but um it doesn't so matter fair. it is um, on the website but our laura's just adding this to show so it's there for oh you right Jennifer. okay so i tend to put this on with the spatula right so if you put it on and you scrape it back, right. so you're not using much of it, very, very thin. Yeah. I haven't got a, uh, let's put it on a random bit of board. And I I was only putting it on the pattern side because I thought you'd see it a little bit better. Yeah. But, um, and then you smooth it out. Yeah. And you'll get a lovely smooth yeah. finish yeah perfect um another thing while i'm thinking on it with and this will probably work with um most glues if you get like a little air bubble yeah. so when you're putting glue on and you're smoothing out really thin yes. obviously it's going to dry very quickly yeah you do need to make sure you get all areas like i was saying with the other one you don't yes. want little air bubbles yeah if you spread your glue out all the way over and you put your paper on and then you find you've got a little patch that obviously dried yeah. a bit too quickly let the rest of it dry put a heat gun or an iron over the top and as long as the glue was under there, yeah. it will reactivate it and the bubble That's will disappear. A good tip. That's a really um, good tip. Most glues uh, yeah. will reactivate with heat. Right, okay. So I even use that with, um, you know, the old sample books um, from shops, the yeah. fabric sample books. Yeah. Um, and they have paper on the back of the fabric. Yeah, yeah. And you want to get it off because you want to yes, use as much fabric as possible. Put the iron over the back. Yeah. It will reactivate the glue and you can peel it off. Nice one. But yeah, it's a way of smoothing things out if you get a little air bubble. As long as the glue was under there to start yes, with, yes, yes, yes. As long you as can you reactivate mix, it. Like mix it. That's yeah. brilliant. That's a great tip and good adhesive as well. So that's a, that's another choice for you, Jennifer. But it does <laughs> mean you can use that on your your beautiful papers as well. Um, and the glue hopefully we're getting that added to the show for you um it oh, we've got an item number for you so six six zero three eight two and that's your pot of glue it's decent size and you only need a little bit okay um so it'll last ages as well so that is your your wonderful <laughs> pot of glue and it's one of those that i, I just experiment because sometimes you don't think it'll work you experiment it's like oh it works just fine thank you very much <laughs> um so have a little go but thank you for your question it's a really good question is that and yeah i still get myself confused right so you can see that she's Beautiful. gonna sit down there and what i want is foliage to come up round. that's so, so nice but you can see that these stamps are actually quite short yeah okay so there's ways around that. Um, Actually, I'm going to put it on a smaller block. So this is on the Wow Flower set, isn't it? So yes. this is on the set with yes. all the beautiful, um, you know, all the different Wow Flowers, etc. So normally I start off by doing this, yeah. like you're supposed to, yeah. and then I have it on the side and I literally just <laughs> dunk it in like yeah. that. So when, yeah, when boredom takes over. I think we mentioned earlier about um, stamping technique and creating depth yeah so if i show you how i do it and i'll yeah. i'll do it mm, close to the speed i would do it okay. at home yeah okay yeah um so the less thinking the better okay which is great. just be random <laughs> and go for it so you know you see people and they try and be we're not card making we don't need to be yes. precise okay yes, yes, yes. and i tend to say the less you think about it the more natural it, yeah. it kind of looks yeah okay so i'm gonna stamp my first one I'm not going to re-ink, I'm going to stamp again and I'm moving it across the yeah. canvas. Okay, yeah. so every time I stamp I'm getting less and less yeah. ink. Okay. The ink is actually, I think because the, the canvas has got, um, obviously because it's had the, the glue on there, it means the ink seems to go even further than if it were paper doesn't it it well, seems I, to go I quite a long way i use this technique on pretty much everything it works yeah. on fabric as well yeah 
um, you get a little bit less detail on yeah, here yeah. because you do have a bit of texture and we've got a layer of glue under there which yeah. obviously makes it a little bit more uh, kind of waxy yeah. almost. Um, but it's lovely because you, yeah, by the time you're second, third generation, it gives you that, that depth. And yep. that's what you're going to achieve with yep. it. You get a depth. Um, just to point out as well, I know Jenny hasn't cut the edges off, but are you waiting until it's dry and then you can yep. just file them off? Yep. Yeah. Uh, because again, like I said earlier, even if it's dry to the touch, yeah. once you start working in layers, there's moisture underneath yes. there. Yeah. So yeah, if you if you start doing it too early, you might rip it. Yeah. And yeah. that's what you don't want. Yeah. Um, the so. Isn't it funny now where you did the um, the stenciling with the white gesso, you can really see it now. Yeah. So That's again, give you a real it, point this, of light. This might disappear or I might keep a little bit yeah. peeking out but yeah that, that's what i mean about the layers yes. some of it you see some of it you don't exactly and you can change your mind as you're going as well i didn't really have a plan for this because i didn't know what yeah. stamp set you were going to choose yeah um in actual fact for, for me for what i'm doing a different stamp would have been easier but we'll work around it and we'll you know <laughs> of course i've picked the hardest uh, one of course yeah <laughs> um only really because of the size of it yeah yeah um so if i knew i was using her before i probably would have gone landscape yeah so i would have done same technique with the blue the yellow and the green yeah. but i would have put her there oh yeah and then maybe had like a butterfly up here or something yeah. like that yeah yeah but we'll make it work yeah It'll be well fun. that's the beautiful thing about it and i like that it's like no i can make that work that's okay yeah because because I, and I quite like the open space as well sometimes. I think that just yeah. looks exquisite. Yeah, and you have to think about how um, how your eye moves around a picture. Yeah. So kind of going back to when we were saying about, you know, fine art training or whatever. Yeah. You'll, you'll start to learn when you look at something how your eye moves around yeah. something. So yeah. that's why I was saying about you don't want your lines that come through here because you don't want your eye to be drawn to that yeah. rather than what else is, is yes. going on. Yeah. Um, and you can see here that I'm starting to come up at the edges yeah. because then when she sits here, it almost leads you yeah. into it. Yeah. So this is something that I think is less like a taught thing. It's more that you you start to look yeah. at for you yourself. You start to get used to it, don't you? Yeah. And sometimes you know it's off. But sometimes you know it's off, but you don't quite know how to make it okay. I get that sometimes. It's like, oh, it doesn't sit right. And that that's the bit that's just experience and play. Yeah. And isn't also, it? Just play move away from it yes and then come back yeah you need to see something with fresh eyes yeah. so i've turned this upside down now because i'm working on the, the yeah. kind of dangly yeah, bits absolutely um, another thing that i don't know why it works but it used to work for me if i was doing a painting something not right with it but i don't know what it is like you know when you think the composition just yeah. isn't working can't put my finger on it if i used to hold it up in front of a mirror ah. i could see what don't oh know why gosh, i don't know funny. why but that so worked. try it if, if you're enough. looking at something and thinking something's yeah. off but i don't know what just try looking at it in a mirror and see How if it does work i take photos as well that's yeah. always a nice way because looking at yeah. it in a photo that that seems to give you yes. a different perspective as yeah well, same sort of it? thing yeah yeah there's tons it's it, it's interesting and we all have different ways of of having to view it in order to yeah. tweak it but like i said coming back with fresh eyes yes. is a brilliant way of doing it because yeah. especially if you're working on the piece for a long time you can almost get yeah. blinded by it yes so to go away one it gives it a bit of drying time yeah but i'm just going to turn this around and see that's how it looks oh, yes yeah, so so you can nice. see i'm adding stamps and you know yeah. trying to conceal where the stamp ends just by over stamping yeah um Yes, just going away from something and coming back to it. Sometimes you walk yeah. in and go, ah, yeah. that's what it is. That's the issue. Yeah. And, and if, and if you're not <laughs> sure if it's finished, it's not finished. That's lovely. Um, those wildflowers are so busy. I'm not surprised. It's so easy to create such depth and dimension. It's beautiful. It's literally going to frame my hazel. If you do want the wildflowers, 060664 <laughs> is your item number, £11.69. Really, really gorgeous. And they are Eugenie's Originals. Now then, probably sort next? out the fact that I've got oh, uh, like, yeah. ink all over me. <laughs> Either that. 
<laughs> and then you go in and there's little black ink splodges right, yeah. everywhere. Because I've got mm. my thumbprint on this other thing. Seriously, I think out. everything I do has got an ink splodge everywhere. Apart from yesterday. Yesterday I got away with it. I didn't ink splodge yesterday, but yesterday I have, well, the remnants are still down my nails, all the pain. Because <laughs> I'm right. obviously finger painting. So you can see that I'm cutting off all her whiskers. Aww. As I've said on a demo before, ain't yeah. nobody got time to fussy cut whiskers. Absolutely. So, but we obviously want the whiskers there. Yeah. So I'm cutting her out. And also the reason that I've stamped her separately yeah. is because I view that as a topper. Yes. And I don't want her to take on the texture yeah. that's on the background. Yeah. So if I did, what I probably would have done was stamp, fill in with gesso yeah. to whiten her out, yeah. stamp again, and then go in with the detail. Right, yeah. You wouldn't necessarily have to stamp a second time, but um, that when you white it out, up, you would, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I get it. Get it, that's a really good tip actually, because then when you white out, you know exactly yeah. what you're whiting out as well. Or the other thing is, you know, when I was saying about stamping onto tissue. Yeah. So if you wanted to place her on there, mm. you could stamp her on tissue. Yeah. Um, just feather, you know, tear the edges out. Yeah. Um, so what I would do is, it's probably easier to show you in it. We got the time, I'm assuming we have the time. Like, I'm yeah, looking we have. It's on the half pass, kid. I'm looking for the stamp that right. was right in front of me. So Stand I'm just going to... I can read to you while you're rummaging. Look, this is why I said to him, no, I won't have a sitting down demo because we won't have room for everything. Cause yeah, this you're is right. <laughs> they, we, they, there needs to be a lot of room, <laughs> yeah. doesn't there? Wait, none of us travel lights. So that'd be just strange. Um, we've got, we've got, we've got... In fact, I'll read this in a sec because we've just seen this. Yeah, so just as we were talking about it beautiful so obviously this isn't a perfect stamp so what i would do is go around with a little bit of water beautiful. around nice. the outside Lovely which will allow you to tear it away yeah so you can be more precise about it. so i'm not going to do the whole thing because obviously this isn't the demo we've just got sidetracked yeah so i'll pull that bit off just so you get the idea yeah so but yeah, you would, you would go around the outside with your water brush and just tear it away. Yeah. And then what you can do is stick her down. Yeah. Now, obviously, once you put glue on here, and this would be your slightly thinner glue, it's going to become see-through. Yeah. So again, I would wipe out with gesso. So I would go in in between the lines with your gesso. Yeah. Just to give you a base like you're working on white card. Yeah. Yeah then go in and colour. So then she becomes part of the yeah. image and, and then you can really, stamp around. Yeah, yeah, she'll really so, become part of the image. Yeah, so I would do that first and then do this stamping. Yeah. Yes. I'm doing this slightly differently in that she's going to be a topper. Yeah. Um, so, you know, she's going to sit over the top of this Beautiful. stamping. Beautiful. So yeah, I just that thought, well, while it popped into my head, I'll show you that. No, I like that. <laughs> I like that, love. And you've got the stuff, so you might as well. Uh, <laughs> Diane's emailed him. Hi, all. Um, you know when you are an addict? <laughs> yeah. No, it's not a question. You know when you're an addict, when you have the stamp sets um, and you have a strong urge to buy them again. <laughs> don't do it, Diane. Don't do it. Uh, that's hilarious. That's how much I love them. Today's demos are truly inspiring. I'm learning loads about layering, so thank you. Just because I missed a bit, which pencils are you using uh, for colouring hazel? So she's looking magnificent. Um, they were these, the yeah. bronzel. So um, they're nice and soft mm. um, if you're just using them as colouring pencils. They're lovely Beautiful. and soft. Because you know sometimes you get them and they just feel a bit waxy yeah, or yeah, a bit yeah. scratchy. A bit they're scratchy. lovely and soft. Um, so you can use them just as pencils Wonderful. or use them as watercolour or a bit of both. Excellent. And yeah, right. I sort myself out there. <laughs> Bits everywhere, kid. So she's going to oh, sit look at her. in there. Stunning. So I'm going to cut the base off. But we were saying we need the whiskers, don't we? Yes, yes, she needs the so whiskers. So you could either oh, look put her on like that and then draw them in. Yeah. Or you can stamp her. Beautiful. 
So yeah, and at least if you stamp it, you you've got to mean no faff, yeah. no dry, and they're going to be perfect. So I'm not inking everything up. Yes. Because all I really need is the whiskers. Yeah. Okay, and to see where about she's going to sit. Okay. So if we put her about there. Again, the, the whiskers might disappear a little bit into the background. Yeah. So just try and get but a decent okay pressure on it. it's okay because you've, you've, you can see them even if yeah. they disappear. And yeah, I suppose right. you need a bit we of hope. decent pressure, yeah, <laughs> yeah, because of that texture. This, Perfect. Yeah. So we don't need her in the middle. We just yeah. need to see those. I'm going to put the heat gun on this because, yes. again, because of the layers we've put, um, you can see that it's, it's still shiny, quite isn't wet. It? Yeah. Um, another thing that I would do, so... Whenever I trim the tissue paper, I always keep these bits. Yeah. One, because you can stamp on them and yeah. use them, or you can use them like a blotting yeah. paper. Yeah. So you, and can you can see, see. Yeah, you can see that coming up there. Yeah. It so works yeah. amazing as a blotting paper, yeah. doesn't it? Um, and because it's first fine clear as well, it stays open a bit longer, especially yeah. on a gluey surface, won't yeah, it? Yeah, that's it. On a gluey surface like this, um, that's why you can yeah. still see it so i would blot off so just try not to smudge it yeah. but blot off yeah what you can yeah don't do what i do and blot off and then in your next blot taking off you'd actually blot on that's, <laughs> yeah. that's what i'd end up doing rather than blotting off i'd be blotting and they'd be like oh for goodness sake and so then I'm swearing just, i'm still going to put the heat gun on that yeah just to be on the safe side yeah uh, well your heat gun i can tell you hazel hair <laughs> uh, really busy nine eight zero zero seven eight we've got a brand page as well remember um of course we have got a brand page for our mixed media collections and gorgeous Janie's stuff as well so on Janie's brand page we've got the glues we've got all the different kits that we've got today for you um all the beautiful stamps i mean the prices are ridiculous you've got some really good deals um, and of course more that we haven't seen today there's tons on there so do have a little look see there might be extra goodies that you want to add in your bag oh i like the look at it was that loads of stuff there and oh what's that that background check that mixed fiber pack that's nice as well i like that oh there's loads of goodies in there oh heck uh, do have a little look because yeah you've got tons and tons of elements um, if there's anything you want, pop them into your basket. It is createandcraft.com or give us a ring 01733602000. Then if you have done any of Jamie's goodies, Jamie now. I called no, you Jamie then. Jamie. I tell you what, Jenny is nearly hard. I came in earlier and nearly <laughs> called her Jenny. And so it's Jenny and Jamie. Oh, for but God. I was like, just don't call me don't Jane. Don't call me Jane. Just don't call me Jane. <laughs> <laughs> I won't call you Jane. And then she put it in my head, but I haven't done it. <laughs> Uh, right, I am going to use yes because we've still got um, moisture right. underneath. Yeah, um, I'm going to use the pin flare glue. Right. So not necessarily because I want it to stand proud. Right. Um, but just because you know it's going to stick, yeah. whatever is yeah. under there, if it's um, and your pin flare. Also, it's it's almost matching drying time. Right. So. Like I keep saying, it's surface dry, yeah. it's not dry underneath yes. because we're layering it up. Yeah. This takes a little while to dry, so yeah. it's almost like you're matching drying right. time. So you won't um, mess about. I have, <laughs> yeah, I have used glues before, um, and you know, I would use this one, but I am going to sit her slightly proud. Yeah. So this means I can do that. I have used glues before that have obviously dried at a different rate to this, and then after a while it'll pop off ah right okay so, yeah, so, so it my, hasn't grabbed yeah, so, enough so the quick stick would be fine but yep. i don't want her completely sat down you can see it oh i've got a fingerprint on her oh never mind i might <laughs> it's put a flower, okay i might put a flower on her head oh yeah <laughs> it's all right we can't see that i love that because we saw all the things we need to see but the things we don't need to see don't no it's all right see that's it i like that you can come again our nathan we can we don't we can't see that <laughs> <laughs> ah. uh, so you shouldn't have mentioned it we can't see it anyway no, i actually can't see it to be fair oh now i can because yeah. i've looked it's only teeny tiny is that oh so, look at her she's I'm pushing lovely. the ears down at the top but leaving her raised bit there yeah so just get her kind of into place so that the whiskers match up 
beautiful. It's a little bit that is misstamped there, but I can fill that in if it bothers me. It doesn't yeah. bother yeah. me enough for that. Oh, don't she look lovely? Look at her little hazel. So what? So you could then stamp. So if you just had this one stamp set yes here there are other elements in here that you can use yeah so what you could do is stamp these hang on let me put it under there. that flower yeah because you, you could, could just stamp that bit couldn't yeah. you and then just that bit and yeah. it'd give you such a different but, look but you could build this up and yeah. then cut it out in the same way so as it comes around oh, it'd like almost this. create a swag wouldn't yeah. it yeah it, it depends how you want to work it yeah i'm actually gonna again although we kind of have loads of time we don't have all day so yeah. i'm actually gonna stick some flowers around here and imagine that i've carried on <laughs> and it, and it, and it yeah. goes all the way over sort of thing um, and then I'm going to probably try and find a butterfly on one of the stamp sets. Unless you want to search through some stamp sets. Oh. While I'm doing something else, find a little butterfly. I'll and we'll butterfly. cut one out to go up there. Oh, you've got so many elements, <laughs> haven't you, on the stamps? Well, so, I was going to say a snail, but it'd be flying. So we won't do, <laughs> yeah. we won't do a flying snail. I Although some people, when you walk past the gardens, I think you do get flying snails. <laughs> um, don't you? The gardeners are chucking them out. They're yeah, when they're, Sorry, when I shouldn't they, say that. When they're chucking them, because they've been... Got, are you one of them gardeners that, you know, they pick up the snails or the slugs and just chuck them off of somebody else's garden? Yeah, I like snails, but not slugs. I like snails. And I love no. frogs. I love frogs. Occasionally get them in the house, I think, it, when they're looking for shelter yeah. and they do that little squeaky noise oh. so i just have to catch them before the dogs see them oh yeah 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 <laughs> my dogs don't mind frogs they can look no, for frogs they, they tend to be attracted to toads i think it's something to do with the, the smell ah, okay. so um dogs will very often get their noses in and they'll be um you know it'll yeah. be because it's a toad ah. that they can smell sorry i'm just cutting off the ends of loads Lots of paper of flowers, flowers. yeah because yeah, when um park near us when you always know it's that time of year because they all come out but yeah. they all sit but and i've read about it and they all sit on the path because that's how they warm up again yeah because they get the heat off the tarmac but it's not great because they also go onto the road uh. not great i know when it's that time of year i do um i drive i do drive-bys to go and rescue dogs <laughs> out of the road <laughs> the frog drive-by i do <laughs> I know I drive really slow, people hate it, 60 mile an hour road. And I'm there really slowly <laughs> looking for frogs with full beams on. <laughs> uh, I'm that woman. Um, oh, but dear. yeah, they're really, really cute. But I want my dogs. I saw, I think I saw, I think it was 50, 50. I obviously counted them. 50 <laughs> frogs. And my dogs ignored them. My dogs normally will eat anything with a pulse. And they ignored them. <laughs> I'm quite impressed, actually. Um, I have also found... She also ignored the sheep the other day, which I was really impressed about. Found a butterfly. All right, um, lovely. So we'll stamp that one out. Your butterfly is with, and this is lovely as well. The butterfly is on Barney Bird and Melissa Mouse. And that that is, is such a lovely set, is that? They're all lovely. They're a beautiful, Journey. Your stamps are absolutely Thank you. beautiful. And there's so much work involved. Because when you look at the detail of them, can I show you Christopher? Because... Um, have a look at the detail on lovely Christopher and this is uh, this is why I adore things like that can you see really close in his um, in his plumage all the little the, it's almost like doodles yeah. isn't that pretty and that's the lovely thing initially you don't see it it's not till you see him up close that's what I like because it's it's you know, you can see it's a crow. It's realistic yes. in that sense. But when you actually look, yeah. you can see that there's lots it's of doodles magic, and really. leaves and flowers yeah. and all sorts. And I love, and you've done it on quite, you know, the, the little bottles. You've put bottles here and there. Yeah. And I tell you a really important one, actually, on good old um, Barney and Melissa. There's, And this is such an important one. There's a little flower, um, a little grassy verge. Stamps like that are ridiculously handy. Yeah. <laughs> These little, see, stamps like that, they're because they're really good filler in us. They're your grounders, aren't they? You, yeah. you create your grounders. Yeah. They're really, really handy of those. So that's on Melissa. You'll see every time you look at the stamps, you'll see something else. You'll see different detail in them. Um, and yeah, absolutely beautiful. And it's the way they all work together. I mean, they're all very, very magical. And of course, I mean, I'm looking at um, Mr. Kingfisher and Son. 
<laughs> Great name. But the, the foliage <laughs> on that would obviously work with this yes. so well. Yeah. Wouldn't so, it? So, uh, Mr. Kingfisher and Son. So, um, my brother in law yes. and my nephew. Father oh, and son. Yeah. They like fishing and their surname is King. That's brilliant. <laughs> so it's obviously Kingfisher. Brilliant. Right, yeah. I've got a little scrap of card that will probably be Magnificent. good enough for me butterfly. Oh, there are another one on Phileas. Another little what butterfly. Size? Let me look at Phileas. Oh, actually, let's go for the one on Phileas because he's a little bit bigger. A tiny bit bigger. I forget what's on my own stamp set. Oh, I would as well, love. Don't you worry. Um, on Phileas, what I love about Phileas, obviously Phileas himself because we love frogs, but all the different uh, toadstools. And then the uh, there's something quite fabulous about little jars of things, isn't there? Yeah. I love yeah. little jars of things. And because it's a magical toad or a magical little frog with his hat on, he's got all these wonderful little potions, his lotions and potions. I say, while we're talking about him, if I just show you, you've got... <laughs> this, is, oh, this is how my mind that's works. The so you've got a tie, a tie that can go on to this one. That's well cute. You've got like a little pearl necklace that could oh go on to them gosh, as well. Oh my gosh, amazing. Um, Phileas has got a hat, so you could do this yeah. like a witch's hat, yeah. black with red, but also I've done it in like a tatty kind of brown, mm. if you think it's like that old kind of gardening hat. Yeah. You've got his bow tie as well. Lovely. So not a traditional bow tie, it's literally a bow as a tie. And then, yeah, you've got little bits here as well. Ah, uh, fantastic. Which can go either side or under here. Yeah. Um, and then you've got your three. So, yeah, scaly cap juice, mm -hmm. blue-green slime head, and blushing dappling tonic. Amazing. Because, you know, he likes the odd drink of an evening. You That's know. wonderful. And but, it depends who you give it to, but I think there's a few people you could give, give the blue-green slime head to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you wouldn't even know that's what you were calling him, quite frankly, because you could hide that. But these obviously can be next to him. Love it. It uh, could fit on his head. It can sit on the toadstools yeah, as well. Yeah, I love that. I really, really, really like him. He's fabulous. <laughs> There's so much in these. They're all stunning. So really cool. This time, just for speed, I'm going in with pens. Oh, look at that pink. That's delicious. And then I'm going to pull that out with a slightly lighter pink. Beautiful. And then lighter again. And if you like these pens, I Jenny might have these on. When did you uh, say possibly, she on? Possibly, yeah. Uh, tomorrow, Amazing. I think it could have been four o'clock. You might need to check that. I literally saw it. It came up on my feed when oh, we were in the car coming Amazing. Up. Yeah, our Jenny Mays, because she has some pens on, so do watch out for our Jenny. It's been ages since I've seen Jenny. Oh, and Jenny's stuff is just adorable. It is for make sure you watch our jenny because she's lovely. Well, like i said that's how i got into the craft industry because crafting was a passion of mine yeah um but not you didn't think really it was going to be a job of, no no i know i mean i would almost class myself now as a designer which i yeah. didn't think i would be yeah um but like i said it kind of after meeting her it all kind of oh. fell into place it says in it it says when that that you know, you're going on one path and then all of a sudden it work goes wee and you're off on another journey. The funny thing was as well, she used to say to me, oh, you know, you'll end up, you'll end up doing this. And I was like, well, no, no, I'm quite, quite happy, you know, designing <laughs> for you. And then here I am. Just <laughs> 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 so oh, she weren't wrong. I've just popped oh, that's a pretty. little bit of the glue gel and I'm just going to push down in the centre yeah. so that the wings can come up Beautiful. so you can what time if we yeah i won't do any more now but you could dot some of those around because obviously she's quite low yes. here yeah and if we were at home although you know we've got we've had a two-hour show yeah. i would spend more time on this so i would get more stamping in there yeah just to build it up um i am tempted to put a little flower or something on her head because that Fingerprint is, <laughs> is that bugging that fingerprint you? Fingerprint is bugging me. See, I mean, you're putting a flower. If you have more time, you know, like the the little daisy that you've got on there yeah. that someone had put cut out and put on a yeah. red. Because yeah. that looks really beautiful. The daisy's on the stamp set with lovely hazel. Because that does look utterly adorable. Yeah. But so now she gonna... does look like she's going to the festival. Yeah. Don't she? We are lovely off little. To glass she's off to Glastonbury. She's off to Glastonbury. Oh, she's so lovely. And I. I 
love this. I'd be tempted. I know what I'd end up doing. Oh, I get carried away. The pink that you put in there. You know, if you've got the little uh, dimensional paint and end up, I'd end up well, going. I just put a bit of pink in there before it's you know funny it. You say that really? because the next thing I was going to do. Amazing. Well, this is like a almost like a holographic sparkle. Yeah. So what I was going to do is just do put it. little dabs because when everything's dried down perfect th so the stamping is still um slightly wet so you've got a sheen to it when that dries down and it's matte yes and then this so you don't want to go crazy with it this is almost like little berries on the foliage beautiful and then when the light catches it you get that slight twinkle yeah, yeah. I, I, stuff like this just makes me very happy indeed and it's <laughs> uh it's because your glue dries glue it's because you can be really specific where you're going yeah. which is dead important yeah. and we could put some around here yeah. as well yeah so it matches in but although i've always been a lover of glitter um it is right when with this sort of thing when they say less yeah. is more yeah so if you have I've said this before on here there's one of my tutors used to say to me don't give the same amount of attention to the whole of your piece of work right and yeah to me what that means is if you go in with detail everywhere yes. you kind of lose it because yeah, then your eye doesn't know sense. where to go yeah so you need open space yeah. you need field space a little bit of glitter that bounces off against the mat yeah so it's all those things yeah that then that's really make it work i so really like I would, that that's a good tip obviously i would trim it down yeah. I would actually put a bit more stamping in here and probably some stamping of flowers yes. as well <gasps> oh, up here. And I'll tell you what would be nice as well with those flowers, some of the leaves, wouldn't they? Yeah. You yeah, know, like that some ivy. of the yeah, 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 some of those beautiful leaves coming out of there as well would be absolutely stunning. Or, oh, oh no, she's off. Or <laughs> some of the beautiful toadstools as well. Oh yeah, she yeah. could have. Basically, yeah. you could have all sorts, couldn't you? All and then, oh, have you got sentiments well, as well? We've got. Are these words, on this afternoon? I think they should be on this. Oh, okay. They could be on this show. They could be on this afternoon. Um, but it's the sort of thing that you. So this is literally mainly separate oh, words so you can start it. me and paula have done this on the show and then we just got distracted trying yeah. to make up different loads sentences. and loads of stuff but you can just use single words oh. you can make up sentences and then my favorite one on this one is never too old for shenanigans oh i love that the fairies told me to do yeah, it obviously a little nonsense now and then is relished by the wisest of folk oh. <laughs> the world is here to be explored go forth and see its wonders so different things Beautiful. like that Beautiful dance your own dance with passion and a pocket full of glitter <laughs> or oh, to have so, wings and fly yeah so you could also put these in yeah so you could stamp this on this little bit of um your paint, paint that i've still got yeah, left yeah put that on some of your cards so you've got the color stamp this on cut yes. it out put a little line around it and they are perfect for mixed media they're perfect for journals they're perfect yeah. for for your your beautiful artwork because they're yeah. not specific it's not a happy yeah. birthday it's not yeah and i i love this one because you've got all oh, your moonlight blessings or even it begins with adventure it yeah. begins with blessings it begins um, with the moonlight um, i think i've made up the happy frog was dancing and things oh, like that so yeah i really <laughs> like that that's absolutely yeah it's gorgeous and like you say you do get you get lost in it don't you because yeah, you do because, start wanting yeah, to make yeah. up loads but and what, loads of sense what i have done with this before sentences. so i'm not sure how long we've got is you can literally just under a minute love okay after but you all can, that time yeah i know you can literally stamp that out as yes. it is so you've got a whole sheet of sentiments and then you just cut into that's it. That's such you a good idea. You can then play around with it and start making your sentences like that. Yeah, that's so, such a good yeah. idea. So yeah. rather than then trying to line them all up separately. Yeah. Um, oh my gosh. See, two hours. Do you know what? <laughs> we might have had two hours, but they always fly. I know. Well, they we did fly. take a while to go down the counter, we did. didn't we? Because well, I've got quite a lot on. Quite so. a lot of stuff. <laughs> yeah. um, and I tell you what, all this has to be packed down because <laughs> we've got an hour's off an hour is off we've got an hour off we're going to be back with you at one o'clock for another two hours with our wonderful journey but we've got 
a load of different stuff. She's been very, very busy. So please make sure you do come back at one o'clock. We've got obviously loads of goodies, loads of um, another beautiful demonstration. Check your baskets out though, because I'd hate to miss out on anything. Jenny, thank you so much. Thank you. Really, really lovely. I think lovely. I need to go and have lunch now. Me too. Stop my tummy from growling. Oh yeah. <laughs> Mind you, I really like the noise. It's real cute. Um, check your baskets out, everyone. We will be back with you on Craft Extra at one o'clock. Thanks, Jenny. Bye.